Oh, it's gonna go. To, it's gonna go off to another topic. Ain't we, to- ain't we toxic though, Tate? What the black community? Because oh, you wanna let man feed us meat. No, because I'm no, sorry, no, bro. No, like it's not even no, toxic. No, bro. I just feel like no, but no. yeah, no. But I think about it though, as in like. I mean, you the, you, do you know what the experience is? When him cutting we? the meat. No, but when you say we, what then, do you mean, men or women? Black men. People. No, it's black people. That's what I'm saying. Because your girl, your girl will sit next to you and you watch it. Another man feed you meat. She's looking at you, bruv. She's dry, bro. And I'm okay Crazy. with I'm okay with being. No, I'm just saying, so I'm saying black people. I'm saying is it is it something? It's not that... toxic. He's just well, we have a standard. Like, it's like the brother that was getting the the, the juice shot in his oh. mouth. <laughs> <For> time. <laughs> and the, and the, bro, and the girl was looking at him. The girl in the background was disgusting. But you know what? He was the thing is he was smiling and uh, but at the end he's he, fizzing up in his mouth. At the end he was like. <laughs> and the woman in the background is like, it's, bro, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, um, a man or woman thing. It's just black people, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. You have a standard, and yeah, it's but, just like, yeah, but I'm saying in terms of that standard that black people have, as in obviously I'm adhering to that standard. You ain't give, giving me meat. It don't it, embarrass me. But like, for example, white people or other nationalities or races, they're more carefree with. They're like, is yeah, it, but bro? Everything's different, bro. Like if we if we if we all played football for example and it's time to go to showers, we're gonna go into different corners. Yeah. Whereas they'll they'll stand next to each other. Them and start have, chatting. Them have full convo Fam, naked. Like. like... <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah yeah yeah. No, no, I'm blessed. No, no, no. Oh oh yeah, we just cut it out. <laughs>one thing I can say, I think that's the first conversation we had when I got in here. I forgot my other point, but the one I was talking about, I'll remember that because I know someone will be listening and be like, oh, I didn't finish your point. I'll get back to it if I remember it. Um, I think that's the one thing I realized when I was in Dubai. British girls are some of the fine, buffest girls, mm. you know what I mean, that you come across. But I realized that in Dubai, they're just a lot more friendly. And you know what I mean? It's more apparent. And when you see them alongside other girls in their element. So you know when they're in a place where it's just easy going. Yeah. British girls, you know what I mean, are some of the buffers, like, hands down. But I said, in the pod, I remember we were talking, uh, I don't know if you were here that day, you might have been, it might have been me and Taze, we were talking about, like, in terms of the five, the girls from, like, the five best places, and I think, I can't remember what, what, I think it was, there was the UK, America, I think we'd done West Indies, I think we'd done Africa, but I don't know, but obviously, and then I can't remember might be like Sweden or something. I can't mm. remember. But it's like, in terms of UK girls, UK girls are elite, bro. But the thing with UK girls is they're not out all the time. So, and because London's so big, for example, like if R&B slow jams, you're going to see a lot of girls there. Yeah. So you'll be like, oh, right, London has got things because the, the event is so big now that girls are coming all over. Yeah. A 12 drink, the Manny Suave, there'll be a lot of girls, but it might be like a particular like, set of girls as in, like, because you know my man or you know this man, do you know what I'm saying? Whereas in the UK, because it's so, I mean, London's so big, Northwest kind of have their own raves, South travel everywhere, eat, like, it's different. Whereas in Dubai, because everyone's on holiday, yep, it's all concentrated. It's hot, like, there's only certain places that people know about. You see everyone in concentration. Obviously, people are drinking, it's hot, people are happy. So you actually see people, like, people who wouldn't talk to you here will talk to you there. Yep. Even when I went to Dubai last time, I fumes the engineer and he's manned them. I was just chatting to them normally, whereas here, I'm a police seaman man, and yeah, over here, can I say office. nothing. Do you know what can I'm saying? Can I just um, say, yeah, based on the experience that Keith had in Dubai, um, I'm going to go William Hill tomorrow. I've got about a grand down. That he's going to go again in he's a couple mov- No, he's moving there. Oh. He's going to move there. Or, or there's going to be a year at some point in the future where the majority of the year he spends it in Dubai as opposed to in London. I'm going to Dubai from September to December. See? Started already. <laughs> I, I ain't got to lie. You know why, what I mean? why September to December? One is off the summer, because, you know, it's like, it's hot. But, I, you know what I mean? Because I genuinely want, I think over the next couple of years, I want to move there. I was like, I want to do four months there and figure out how I feel long term. Sometimes it's a fluke, you know what I mean? You'll do a month and it's fun. No, I'm surprised you, you didn't buck homeboy. Mm, your friend. <laughs> DM me still. Obviously. Yeah. Yo, let's link up, man. It's been my DM me like that, bro. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm not here for that. You see what I mean? I could I'm, de- I'm here to have fun. I could definitely live in either could you America ha- or Dubai. Could you be in a relationship in Dubai? That's the thing I can definitely say is hard. No, you, I think you can be. I think it does it. You're, I feel like you're... Yeah, you definitely can be. I feel like... You know, you know what will piss you off? And it's the same thing. People are too friendly in Dubai. So there's little things where you're out with your babes because everyone knows everyone. You know, people greeting each other. For me, I don't like that. No, like, I, see, I, I don't... 
I don't have a problem with that. My my issue with Dubai is that you have to be of a girl. So that, why you why you always greeting everyone, blood? Relax, man. And that's my thing. Like I don't like that. No, I'm being totally honest. No, I'm I'm fine with you greeting everyone. But I, 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 but, but I feel like it's a respect thing in terms of it's how you greet people. Because I don't mind you being um, friendly. Because at the end of the day, if you it depends on what circuit you work in or how you are. But if you're a friendly person, I can't say to you. You can't say hello to people because me, myself, I say hello to bare people when I'm out. It could be jarring for you, but you need to understand the way I do it. For example, if a girl, if I'm with a girl and then she says, hi, mom, I've loved the pod, I'm going to introduce you to my babes. Be like, yeah, thank you for listening. Um, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, nice to meet you. Um, this is my girl, blah, blah, blah. All right, have a nice evening. We walk off. you got to include the person you're with. If I'm just having bare conversations and then ex- like excluding the person I'm with, she ain't going to feel that. I'm saying. And vice versa. And vice versa. And also, or oh, if your babe is hugging bare man and man are hugging her, doing this to her, I ain't seen you in time, lifting her up. Nah, Cuffing we're going to fight. We're going to fight, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that's the that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. squeeze the cheek. Nah, Basically, but, that's what it feels like. You know what oh, I mean? in your head. <laughs> no, but in your head. Man bro. put his hand on her shoulder. <laughs> the Cure Bill music. But that literally, but that's my thing. And I feel like it's just kind of sometimes when you like, you have your idea of what, you know, kind of situation you want to be in. For me, it's literally like, if we're out or whatever, let's say we're out together or whatever, even if you're out on your own, stand here. You know what I mean? You don't go, oh, go nowhere else. Stand here. If people want to come and greet you, they greet you here. They don't go from table to table greeting people. You know, one of those, yeah, that's like, crazy. Who are you, bro? Like, like you're the bartender. <laughs> See me, I, I, I don't care. Uh, I'm not, your babe's I'm, just getting greeted. No, 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 no. I, not at the table, table the, but as in if I'm able to take a walk. Who is he, Master of Ceremonies? If, if, <laughs> no, no, no. If I'm able to take a walk. Who is he, ain't no comedian at a wedding, bro? I say, hold the mic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, that is mad, though. You can't be in the dance and you, your girl's the one going around greeting everyone. Oh, no, that's impossible. That's but what you no, just said, though. No, no, I meant it in terms of, like, her walking around. But greeting everyone. No, no, but if, if she's walking around since she's going to the toilet and she's saying hello to people, she's going on the way to the toilet. He's trying to, just, he's trying to justify it. I'm not, I'm not. Well, so we I know. know. We both I know. know. <laughs> you, I know you both. No, no. If my baby, oh, no, if my, if my, if my, three, three people while no, you're getting to the gun. No, if, if <laughs> man, this girl's got 62 if, tables here. Your girl's getting around saying hello. If my baby leaves my, the table and goes to greet, that goes, um, um, per, goes purposely to greet people on table, that's different. That's my no, thing. no, but if she's saying I'm gonna go to the toilet, babe, I'm like, yeah, cool, cool. And as she's going to the toilet, she's greeting people. That's calm. That's calm. Yeah, yeah, no one's saying, that's not what you said. I, I, I did leave a girl in Ghana for that. I'm though. telling you, bro. See? I know you. Bro, you I know our other friend. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you know our other friend where I left he, her still. He, he always gone to go get the babes and she was there talking to someone and he got in the car and went home. And she was from Brum or no, somewhere. I like man said she wasn't even from the air. No, it's just got in his car. No, it's 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 my experience, I told you. No, but no, but that was different though. It wasn't a case of she, oh, didn't, she, she, she didn't just talk to someone. Um, she he was over there they, stopping a fight. They'll walk into the car. And she stopped. She stopped to talk to another dude. Rage. No, no. He went uh, to go stop a fight, and he's come back, and she got to go chat Rage. to the next man. Right, so what's the rule? Let, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. I was no, gonna say because I was gonna add. So no, you know, no. But she was. But then he, as he turned, he said the number one. She was talking to the dude for bare long, and number two, she she saw. Her. He walked past them. No, and no, she didn't come. No, no. He no. He walked. Past, no, no. So so he's 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 walking. She stopped talking to her brother. He's like, cool. So he's kept walking to the car thinking she'll follow. He hasn't followed. He's turned around and then I think like they're swapping, they're swapping numbers or something mm. like that. So he's like, what? It's like, cool, cool. So he just drove off. My situation. So going with him. You know who it was, you know, abroad. You know, I think I told you the situation where we were abroad or whatever on a holiday, a group holiday. And, you know, I mean, I'm with some of my people and they would, you know, one or two of their people, whatever. But the babes that I was there with have gone over. And you know when you're like, yo, we're leaving. I've got into the, you know, you've walked back here. And I looked at them, bro, and I was like, there's no way they lips it, bro. There's <laughs> no way they lips it, bro. I was like, there's no, Marvin, I was like, I'm drunk. You yeah, know I'm a drinker. Yeah, but they were, no, 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 no. They were lips in. You know, you know. Yeah, you but know. the person in question, like. I, I know, bro. But yeah. you know, but that situation was, and, and I think if I was less drunk, and if what happened after didn't happen, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. It's the one where I told you when man pulled me to the side, and man said, it's just hoes, man. Crazy. Yeah, but I, like day, I brought her. Yeah, Mine. Yeah, but, me. Yeah, yeah but yeah, two things could be right at the same time. Yeah, I bought her. But you right. Brother. <laughs> you right. Mom, right. Mom, mom, and it hurt. Mom, 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 mom. But, no, three things could be right. <laughs> but it hurt, though. Mom, but but, but, but it's all the right, man. You know what he meant? But if, you know, like, on a normal one, Marvin, I'm like, you're right, but not right now, no, bro. Do you, know to, do you know how toxic men are? Like, we have. I, I we, said in that we bread, have, bro. Yeah, you have to eat that one. <laughs> the way I said it, we were. Like, you still got 
talking about that, bro? <laughs> we were sitting in the big Mercedes van. That was sitting next to the van, bro. I said in the Vito, you know. Bro, I was doing what did that was, was bro. Up the e was up, that was up, you know what it was, bro? They don't fucking do. No, I don't believe you, bro. Bro, the echo, I said, yeah. I like on touch me, bro. I went to the villa, bro. I went straight to bed, bro. You know, I was fuming, bro. You know you'd be on the same one while we like, you lot were lipsing. But some girl, some girl was just like a part, bro. I, same girl he's talking about, yeah, as in uh, Switzerland. I was going to a Young Fug concert. Switzerland yeah. or Sweden? Switzerland. Going to Young Zurich. Going, I'm going to Young Fug concert. Bumped into some road youth that I know, and he's with... Basically, the road youth's with her babes that would have... Again, transactional. This girl would have never spoken to him in the ends, in my opinion. Yeah. But obviously, because I think he offered to fly her out. Let's go do this. So they're there in it. So the girls have started talking. Obviously, I said, well, I'll go to him. The girls have started talking, and... They're just like slobbering over each other. I'm like, what's going on? What lips him? Bro, so I'm like gold man. But no, but they, no, but the, the girls oh, no, with no, the dude. Worse. The girls with the dude. So obviously the girls like, you don't want to come back to our hotel. Let's have a great night. So I'm not going oh, back in. with another dude. Yeah. Bro. So, I'm like, so I said to my one, I'm not going with these two. Like, you don't know them. I know them. It's, we're not going back with them. She's like, but I want to. I said, all right, cool, you go then. So I went back to the hotel after the concert, I went back to the hotel. She's coming, stumbling in like hours later, vexed with me. Oh, you're such a granddad. Uh, don't chat to me. Brother, from when we woke up the next day, packed our bags and flew back to London, she did not speak to me. The whole flight didn't speak to me. Landed, didn't speak to me. Only when we got outside the airport and we're calling our Ubers, she was like, bye. I said, you're vexed at me because I didn't want to go and do foolishness. Do you know what's, you know what's mad? <laughs> see, see, I mean, you're different. Did she go off with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't come back to the hotel. So, so where's she going to stay? I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I don't know what you've done now. No, but I didn't trouble her when she came back to the no, hotel. I'm not saying that, but you could have gone there and had a threesome. You could have done whatever. You want to come back to the hotel to get warm? <laughs> No, 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 it's her room no, as well. No, it's not a room. No, you're together. I, I'll check. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> you know room? Me, I'm stubborn, bro. I'm, I'm checking out the room, Mom, bro. The that door, you <laughs> put the chain. <laughs> you would have that couch. <laughs> no, you put the door. I would have put the couch behind the door, bro. <laughs> I just went bed and whatever. Oh, you're the one to. where you put the chair against the, the door handle. <laughs> 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 no, I hear it. Well, I just went bed. I said, you know, the African parents. You know, when you said the worst. Have you got? Have you got? Have you? I had it. To play, man. <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, who where, sent it to me? I have it. I have it. Go and sleep. I have it. No, I got it. I got it. I sent it to my mom. My that's mom, how I found it. My mom sent it to my that's mom. What, that's what I would have sent to her. And I said to my mom, that's my dad. That is what happened. Bro, my mom, my mom and dad ever hit me with that bare time. I found it. I know, I know, because you hate me. That place you went to sleep. From today, henceforth, <laughs> keep on sleeping outside. Don't you ever in your entire life again come anywhere close to me. I, will, I hope you hear what I'm saying. Don't you in this your whole wide world. I send you this voice message. You can even play it to your mother or whoever. Don't you ever in your entire life come anywhere close to me again. You will keep sleeping back outside. It's your end. Why are they so angry, bro? <laughs> Brother. All my son has slept on my bridges, yo. On the bro, sofa. Bro. Don't come because home. Because it was too late and, to come home. And the words they use in don't ever in the whole entire world. Bro. Like, what are you saying? The violation, the way they react to certain things, I'm like, did I violate that? Bro. Man? In your entire bro. life. Do you know what I'm my saying? Mom look, my mom looked at me from the window. She looked at me because I obviously I had to wake her up at four in the morning to answer the door. I hear That's it. That's what got her vexed in I it. I hear it. She just looked out the window. What do you want? I said, I need entry. No? Sleep there. What? Mum, open the door, man. Window shut. But it's not even safe. <laughs> but I was like, like, like to my bridges, you know, I came that, back in the wood. Like the point you're trying to prove <laughs> is not, you're endangering my life to prove a point. <laughs> let me in. I said, let me in. Put that, let me in. Four in the morning, but you think my child can come back at four in the morning, no matter how vexed I am, I'm going to open the door because imagine I let you, that's what happened. Yeah, because this is but why. All, all to prove a point. No, but this is why people don't know what we went through, bro. Remember we had the conversation on the phone the other day? Yeah. We're going to talk about it anyway. Um, people don't know what we went through in our, in, in our childhood, bro. It's mad. You know, like, for example, um, we were talking the other day saying that how you might be talking to um, girls now about your childhood, what you went through. Your lived and experience. they're looking at you like, bro, what? what? Right, bro, this is normal. What do you mean? I remember one time I saw my, my, my boy's dad uppercut him up the stairs, bro. Because he tried to get cheeky. He tried to get Larry figured. Basically, because the, the, the <laughs> dynamic, yeah, was like, they, these men knew if my, if, if my dad was anywhere coming around the corner or whatever, I would fix up. No, he's supposed to get your dad, man. Like, patting yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he's not worth it. You patting my dad. You, <laughs> but that's how these <laughs> men used to chat to, to their dad. All right, well, you do that. So obviously, <laughs> I, I was outside his yard. He tried to talk to his dad a certain way. Boom! I said, 
I you see my kid lifting up the stairs. I said, yeah. Mm. You know what? You was a home what time. Up? Okay. <laughs> yo, you, I'm going home. I'm going home. Because the, the conversation ain't the same after that. Brother, when your brother gets slapped in front of you, yeah, it's like a... Like, what are we talking like about? There's like a silence. And obviously, man want to laugh, but they don't want to laugh because because I might get slapped. I don't yeah. know what's going on, but I know that I'm leaving here. I got slapped on the block one time. I tried, I tried to go out fireworks night, yeah. And I said, I'm taking my little brother. Oh, the one you said your brother got lost. No, no. I, just, I, forgot, I forgot I was with my brother. We're, 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 <laughs> what do you mean you forgot? No, because we're all doing firework wars, dashing fireworks at each other. We just started running. I was like, oh, shit. But my brother ran home. So my mom's like, where's your brother? He's like, I don't know. My mom put on the trench coat, came out like Inspector Gadget, yeah. like, <laughs> pacing around looking for me. I'm chilling on the block with the man, they're just laughing. Eh, so this is where you are. She walked over to me in front of everyone. Bow! I did the cool thing. I spat. I And as I got to the end of the line of the man, them, one of the man was like, yo, you're cool, bro. I, like, brother, if I said no, what are you going to do? You're going to swim my mum. Like, <laughs> but the rush your mum said, please. Man done the age boogie. But when, realistically, um, when, when Mick pulled up. <laughs> but, but realistically, bro, like, so, when, when, when you didn't see your brother, then you didn't think, where could he be? No, no but Fed was chasing could, us. Fed was chasing us. I was hiding in the bush. Yeah. But then when I came out of the bush, I just went to go, I just went to the block to be like, yo, man, them, like, I even said, yeah, where's my brother? They're like, oh, he probably went home. So I just thought, mm, all right, cool. But my mom took it as he came home without you. That's yeah, a disrespect. Yeah, yeah. And you're still out here. You didn't even come home to check if he's safe. When I had that moment, my of bad, mom, my when, bad, I, my when bad. I had that moment of styling it, I think I told you, man, I was leaving Lux one time with the babes when we saw an old Kent Road. But you know when you drive New Kent Road, you know the camera. That, you know there's that camera on New Kent Road that you can't see. Yeah, yeah. The, the, right at the thing before, yeah, yeah, right right you... before the flyover. One time I'm driving with the babes, click, click. Yeah. yeah. That top is six bags, you play. Have some, have something. Must have some hands up the car. This is because, bro, the camera went click, click, yeah. And I with the babes in the car, yeah. I had to style it out like it's just a ticket, yeah. Bro, I wanted to crash just the car. A ticket, bro, yeah. I wanted to bro, it, when you're speeding, I wanted brother, to when you're speeding and you get and you hear that the way your life in your head, everything stops. You're like, wow, why bro, did I rush, man? Like, bro, it's not even that important where I need to go, man. Like you start asking yourself, like, how many points have I got? But in that moment, Marvin, I was like, I can't, I can't let it, you know, it's too late. <laughs> It's done now. But I was like, I can't, you know, I can't have two failures tonight. I can't lose it and then let us see. You know, women say they get the ick. <laughs> they get the ick from a man screaming because he got a ticket. But I can't lie, bro. I want to drive into oncoming traffic. Oh my God. Because remember my car's in my dad's name at the time. So I was like, oh my God. It, ticket and, oh. <laughs> Next level. Next level still. <laughs> <laughs> hey, level. listen. Forget the buy, man. Let's, let's address the elephant in the room. So basically, a man phoned me, yeah? To so tell you, Marvin's insensitive. Yeah, it's a taste. Like, I've been listening to the pod for the past few weeks, and yeah, man, I kind of see what they're saying on the timeline. Your boy's getting cooked. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, like, what do you mean? You, you what are you seeing? Kind of thing. Because nah, like the energy that man's giving you, like, like you're sharing a heartfelt um story, and man couldn't even put down his noodles. Why should I? First of all, a man said, a man said, has only got a microwave. What's the point? <laughs> what, what are wait, you wait, saying? Wait. First of all, yeah. Can we? Can I just say, yeah. The music, this is why music is very important. It's very, it's very powerful. moving. It's powerful, bro. Because that conversation had no music. It wasn't a heartfelt combo. Bro, Who put the music mom on? on the social media guy. Tate my mom called me Tate to didn't just even say. Remember. Yeah, I didn't remember. My mom called me to say, um, you know, you know, uh, you never had a desk. I was like, oh yeah. So we just had a little friendly chat. Yeah. So I came to the pod that day and I said, Oh, you know what? I just shared it about in passing. We were even warming up. We ain't even started yet. Obviously, this guy's. No, we started. We started. It was, it, it was like a part. Because remember, the food came, so I think we were just. It was forty minutes in. Oh, okay. Because I, I checked when it was. It was about forty minutes in. So I just, I just shared that story, calm, whatever, and then we moved on. So, so a man's telling me, oh, yeah, I, don't, I think you should, like kind of like the gist of what he's basically trying to say was like, I don't think he's your real brethren. That right, right, right. What? I'm like, hold on a second. Who the fuck are you? Who, who are man's you? Because eating when you're talking about. It. No, but who are you to tell me? That my man is not my bridge. Like, I don't understand. The same taser that rang me in Hackney and I'd done 87 miles an hour <laughs> to get there. When man said, man, set pay, tried the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and so... were there for fucking two minutes, bro. <laughs> Wait, by the way, the story that he's talking about is the story that I shared on Past the Meerkat when the girl crashed the car. Marv was there. Obviously, Marv, the part of the story that I got to, it wasn't the part where Marv was involved. Even Funny enough, even Tolly was there. Yeah. It was Tolly and Marv, the, the corner ready to back, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
But um, I went. I I'd left. Yeah, he'd left already. So where are you? I said, oh, I'm just up the road. Getting I said, spin that, bro. The funny thing is, I'm getting something to eat. <laughs> There's a couple of men tried it. I said, what? I said, man, you blood. I said, what? Hey, the way my jumped to the whip. I think, I think when I jumped to the whip, I think the car was still moving. <laughs> you know, the doors open. Hey. Who's done it? Someone done a video like, oh, uh, Monquay done the, when he was doing the scrap thing with the car yeah. was still moving. It was like that. So, um, yes, yeah, so I just want to just clarify because then people start saying, well, then, why did Taser defend you on the timeline? But I didn't want to defend this guy because he replied to um, K Kurd when K Kurd tweeted about it, Marv was laughing because it wasn't, it hadn't hit the timeline on a bad vibes thing. Yeah, and just... then someone had tweeted um, something along the lines of um, just that. just taking it away from the actual point of the video, making it seem, I can't believe he has a friend like this. Da, 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 da. And that's when that narrative started running. Well, it's like, well, if you watch the video, it's not that deep. Well, the people are saying this is like, why men die alone. You know, this, this, this is what men don't open up. This is what men don't know. Eat sweet but I said, because I'm eating chow mein. <laughs> what? I said, chow mein. Because I'm eating chow mein. Men die alone. All right, let me read but, some of the comments. But the thing is, I was, sorry, I, was, I was talking to Tazia and I was saying that maybe, like, I said, our lived experience is, is so different. Men and women, because it, it, was, it was dudes, but it was mainly women that I saw, because like, they didn't understand, like, the vulnerability in terms of someone talking to them and you're not paying attention. But I'm like, number one, as Taylor said, it was a throwaway convo, not a throwaway convo, but as in like, it was a convo that off was... Off the cuff. It was off the cuff. It wasn't great. heartfelt. It wasn't heartfelt. That's it was, what I need to just, clarify. It wasn't, the, the music made it the sound music, like that. The music, yeah. It, it was, it was and, a and Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, And also, we did it for seven years, innit? So there's times where we speak about stuff in passing that people might think is deep, but it's a convo. We're just, we're, we're just... In, we're just used to it. Anyway. You're like, it's, it's, it's sentimental to you. Yeah. People just chatting. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, what was I saying? So in regards to the convo, I was saying to Taze as well that people don't realise man's lived experience. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, that is not a mad thing. I've seen some mad things, bro. I told you, I've seen cockroaches in my kitchen. Man was worrying about a desk. I killed a mouse in my kitchen once. Mm. What up? <laughs> Smacked it with the broom, back of the head. Whoa! But I'm, I'm, so I'm saying things, and even like school, for example, like obviously it might be a bit drastic, but I've seen, I've come out of college and a man stabbed. I've seen man get stabbed before, like, you know what I'm saying? So I've seen man get rushed on the floor out, like, bow, <laughs> finished. <laughs> but, I, but if you say to some people, this is what I've seen, they'll be like, no way. I'm like, bro, some of the stuff I've seen is mad. So maybe, what? so forgive me if a man went to the desk and I'm eating my chow mein. And I says, what, do you have a microwave at home? <laughs> my, yeah, put, put, yeah, I do, but I'm not home. Put your food down, so it, let it finish. Started talking about emotional intelligence. That's when I kind of was reading the tweets. I was like, mm, I, was, I was doing this. Did you do like emotional intelligence? I'm I don't know. I said it to you, your future girlfriend is in trouble, you bro. Don't start the narrative, because you must start the same narrative about I don't lips, and I lips. So I don't know what you're talking about. Your lips are here, come on. I've always been a lips. Only guy. American babes, though. UK, yeah. UK girls don't get their lips, nah. Not in public. <laughs> I said that in public. Oh, yeah, he was nipsing on, on, the, on the alley. Do you remember that? Remember that one? What? Oh, yeah, like, when you chop in, yeah, chop in the alley. I didn't, I didn't listen to that alley. Baby, oh, the babies oh, told me. I didn't listen to that alley. I forgot about that one, you know? You don't piss me off about that whole situation, yeah? I didn't listen to that alley. I forgot about that one, you know? No, it wasn't alley, it was behind the kebab shop. Bro, but you don't piss me off about that whole conversation when you told me this. I was like, I genuinely did not need to know that, you know what I mean? We're chatting there. She was like, yeah. I saw her about. I saw her about six months ago. I was like, yeah, do you remember when Marvin told that story? He's talking about, oh, nah, brother. I, I didn't tell the story. I thought it was Yusuf. Did somebody told the well, story? me. I didn't and, know the story. But, it was Yusuf. Because Yusuf I, was there. Oh, Yusuf. Oh. But I think when she said it to me, I think she panicked and she thought maybe you had, somebody had said. And I was like, nobody said nothing. You just told me this. You know, I just killed the whole vibe. But you, but, know, but you know what emotional intelligence is? People don't realize this. A lot of people believe, yeah, that emotional intelligence is you... Um, dealing with someone else, it goes both ways. Emotional intelligence is you have an understanding that someone might be different to you, so I'm not going to take it personal. Oh, so, so I should have compassion that you're eating noodles. So no, I should have told my story. No, 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 no. I should have waited for you to finish your noodles. No, no, no. As in, in terms of the, the way people are looking at it is like, they're seeing it one way as in like, man's telling Linear. the story and he's eating, but it's like, you're not seeing it the other way that, like, for example... Can I just say, I'm not offended if I'm telling a story as I was eating. That doesn't offend me. Brother, when, my, when, my dad, when, my dad, when my dad died and the man came to my yard, we were talking and the man were eating. I'm supposed to say, everyone stop fucking eating. Man, no. 
Bro, I mean, nah, man, when you like that. <laughs> bro, when you're dead, boss, we went for food. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Literally, like, a lot of man are supposed to do. Hey, we're, suppo- we're supposed to sit here and just Marvin. But that's what I'm trying to I say. Keep, I, 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 keep, I, feel, I feel like I, men and women, I, the difference is... I ain't gonna lie to you. I know, I know my man's going through some things here, but I'm kind of hungry, bro. Is it? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's literally one of those ones. We have to wait like, for mom to eat first before we eat, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm going like, to let you finish. But even with me, like, I'll never forget, you know what I mean? A friend of mine, you know, when someone dies and you're with the babes, you know what I mean? You're sad a little bit, but you're like... With the babes, what do you mean? Because those are the babes when I found the, when I had the dude. Oh, you, yeah, you're still going to crap. So like, no, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. It depends on who it is. So yeah. you don't have the capacity to clap after? No, nah, it depends who it is. Like, for example, if it's like... Because he want me to. If, well, someone, if, 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 if someone phones me and it's like a friend of a friend, I'll be like, oh, that's mad. Like, I can whatever. But if it's like someone mad close to me, like, I'm not really going to leave. Oh, never mind. I'll leave. If I'm at a girl's yard, I'll leave. What, 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 if, it, what? if it's someone close that like, I care about, I go, or, and I'm going to your house... But that's how I deal with things. Because you're, this is what I'm saying. I mean, that's emotional intelligence. Yeah, but if you know that's how he deals with things, then... That's my point, emotional intelligence. As in, that's how he deals with things. There's no right or wrong. By the way, most um, people think, you know, being, read the tweets, most right? people think being hypersensitive or being hyper-emotional... Is and, the only way to no, deal and, with that. And, and, and that means you're a good friend. And, and, and in my opinion, you know what I mean, being not in control of your emotion isn't emotional intelligence. That's because that, exactly. you're crying all the time. That's because you're angry all the time. It's like not emotional intelligence. And, and that's, but and, allow and, yourself and, to feel. And that's what people, people don't get. Yourself. People are saying that, for example, because of your clip, I wasn't emotionally intelligent because I should have identified that you were in a vulnerable space. Because remember, the question I was asking you, the reason I was asking him was because in my head, um, I wasn't in the vulnerable space though. No, no, I'm just saying, even if you were, I'm saying, oh. but, but people saw it like you were in a vulnerable space, yeah? And so people thought like you were lying. No, you, you were checking me. But I wasn't. I was, it's a podcast. I'm asking yeah. you questions. Because remember, in terms of, I'm, the, the, see, the way I'm, I'm, I'm very like, logical in it, the way I think and the way I see things in it. So when you're talking to me about revise on the stairs, I'm thinking about my yard and I'm thinking about how I studied in it. So I'm like, do you have a dining room table? Because I remember at the dining room table, the kitchen was like small, but then there was like a little partition and there was a, a, a dining room table. So anytime I, when people weren't in the kitchen, when I weren't cooking or whatever, I could go to the dining room table. You're like, I didn't have one. I'm like, cool. I'm like, where else did I study? The sitting room. But obviously sitting room might be people busy, watching TV, cool. So I'm like, what about your bedroom? You were like, I shared it with my brother and whatever, whatever. So I'm trying to knock out also, Other things. <clears throat> I think Gen Z don't understand that back in the, back in our day, brother, it was either your dad's on the phone or you're on the internet. Yeah. You couldn't do both. So I'm on. If I wanted to use the computer and my dad wanted to make a phone call, brother, but the, the internet's gone, bro. But, you, but the thing is, in our day, you didn't even use it in like that. When you were doing work, it was a bite-sized book. Yeah, or it yeah, was like was an too. encyclopedia, or it was like internet wasn't booming like Google. We weren't going to Google like. There's no Google. Ask Jeeves, bro. Bro, <laughs> Yahoo and that. We Ask were... Jeeves and he never had the answer, bro. Brother, man. <laughs> white, the white butler, idiot, foolish man. Never had the answer, never, man. Never, bro. Who's-yo? Take him out to some different page. You're just thinking, what is this, man? And your mom be like, don't go to these, these funny pages. Download virus. Oh, my blood. It's true, though. Man. Your computer be acting mad, bro. <laughs> bro, them days there, what? Download the wrong thing. Techie. EXE, you know. What's that thing that you used to do where um, it would take you to like the old school computer? Because you had to close a program. I remember that. Yeah, what was that oh. again? Task manager. Task, task manager, man. you know. <laughs> task, no, no. <laughs> task manager. No. Hey. All right, some of the, um, some of the comments here, because we're, we're actually laughing at it. I hope God is showing you who your real friends are. Sorry you had to go through this, homie. <laughs> Big man, you ain't even my homie, bro. <laughs> man. This nigga here is my homie. Just saying. People think um, the friend was going to pause his hunger because of convo. Obviously, there's some funny ones as well. Someone said, Taser, get rid of this brother, man. No empathy. A man told you you took his sats on the stairs and you're still trying to make it look like you're, he's chatting, only asking stupid questions and chopping grub like a quassia. Guess what, you friends, brother? I eat boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> I hate males like that guy who's showing zero empathy and being rude. To who? Brother. Uh, you see what it is for people? My neighbor as well jumped in the chat yeah, as well. You said that still. My neighbor that I lived with at the time, and she was like, Yeah, I remember those stairs. She lived like two doors down from me. That was interesting. It just shows you how far um when you put when you get posted on these blogs, it goes. The man opposite him holds no empathy, just dribbling sauce back into the container. <laughs> <laughs> just get the noodles on the blood clock fork and stop asking stupidness. But people are angry, blood. 
Um, and every time it gets getting posted, brother, I see it when it hit Shea, bro. I said, Jesus. <laughs> Because you know already what the tone of that conversation is. No, first of all, it hit UK gossip first, and then all the comments were like, most people were like, backing me, because a lot of people knew me in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he went the other side. When he went Shea Bar, even a lot of people, the funny thing is, that's why like, a lot of people back me on Shea Bar, like, you don't watch the podcast because Mark eats all the time. Or you don't watch the podcast because them man are cool. Or there's a lot of that, as in like, you sort of, from a 30 second clip, like, you're getting all this. But it's, it's just funny how creative some people are. My man's on the other side swallowing black bean sauce and asking useless questions. <laughs> it's sweet and sour. <laughs> it's not black bean, it's sweet and sour. That's what I'm saying. You, un, uncouth individual. <laughs> you, don't even know, you, don't, you don't even know cuisine. It's a bastard. A uh, man said, let the man testify without being second guest for fuck's sakes. I'm sure he would know if he had a dining Who's table. second guest? Marv replied, yes. Is this court or church, bro? Let's talk about testifying. Well, uh, testify <laughs> using them work. Get out of here, man. Men are interesting. Your friend is there opening up about a trauma. First of all, who Who's said trauma? trauma? Anyway, trauma he didn't realize he had. A man just sat there um, stuffing his face, questioning him like he doesn't know his own life experiences and acting as if he had better things to do. With friendships like that, I see why many men are tapped. Because us women will be hugging and crying together. And that's why uh, they uh, and that's why they feel like they're better than you. Uh, and what, because uh, of that. What did I respond to that? Crying over. I, I responded to that. What did I say? I didn't see your response, you know. So you feel like you're better than me because you're I, crying over I, a fucking I, I, I story said, about I, I, a dining table. And I said, and you got all no, of that. The worst guy to be. And I said, you got all of that from a man eating chow mein on a podcast. Fascinating. <laughs> Left it there. What kind? Brother, you got all of that synopsis <laughs> from me synopsis. twiddling a fork. But my thing, and how do question. you think you're better than me because you're gonna sit there and hug each other and cry because somebody said they didn't have a desk when they're younger and their daughter has one now? No, but you know, the only difference is with life here is that some people might need that. Like, for example, you might be a person that if your girl cheats on you, you want to tell all the man them and you want the man them to say, right, that's mad. And that's the validation you need, which is no right or wrong. Say there might be a man who if your girl cheats on him, no one's knowing. And he doesn't want anyone to find out because that's how he deals with it. There's no right or wrong. But the people look at you like, no, you might look at it like, how can Taser not tell no one and, and be vulnerable? Is it, or Taser might look at you like, how you telling everyone? everyone? Yeah. That people don't realize there's no right or wrong, but well, the way I'm telling myself, man. but the way social media looks is like if you don't do if you don't do this whole vulnerability and empathetic thing, and you know I said to Taze the other day, I mean yes, yesterday I said to Taze it's interesting that a lot of the people talking about emotional intelligence, um, and whatever want people to see the world from their perspective, and they want you to feel how they feel about something, and they lack and they and they lack understanding, and they lack um, emotional intelligence themselves. It's, it's, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. You're trying to tell me to be emotionally intelligent and understand, but you're not understanding and emotionally intelligent about this, this, this subject or what you're seeing. It doesn't so make Keith, no sense. So, so, Keith, as this was going on, yeah, I was thinking the key word, and I think the name of the episode should be um, perspective. Because if we leave it up to Marv, he'll, be, he'll, put, he'll put Gooch in the title again, bro. <laughs> so he's, so remember, Taser rang his bedroom because of the Gooch story. <laughs> Okay, why does that need to be the title, bro? What do you mean, bro? This brother was moaning to me, Mark. I wasn't mo- but I would Stop saying moaning, bro. I'm looking Keith, out for the man, Keith, then, remember bro. Remember before, yeah, when I used to do the titles, yeah, and I used to do the titles that the title would be maybe the title it was all sexual. The, 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 the title would be like three things. <laughs> I might be like you blah, 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 blah. This is that. Taylor's like, nah, just we need clickbait. We want people to. But that doesn't mean view. sexual, though. Go through the go through the last. Um, no, they're not all sexual. No, no, we're so what are you saying? But it's just gooch, bro. I don't want to repost gooch, bro. What's going on here? Marvin, yeah, with the title, bro. Brent guesses ass lick in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mad. But my thing is this: if, if it was thingy, yeah, if, if they're all sexual, I'll say fair enough. But they're not even sexual. All right, so wait, hold on. It's like one of the last ten has been sexual, bro. <laughs> So I bought this paper today because I don't want to be the one to share the story. I want to read it from somewhere. Yeah, what's this? The Carl Walker thing. Yeah. What so. Basically, England... Oh, sorry to cut you off. For context to anyone listening, if they were talking about insensitivity and, you know what I mean, no th- empathy or whatever, Marks came here after nearly dying from an aneurysm and all we did was laugh and he didn't give a shit because that's what we do as friends. That's just who we are. No, that's a, what he wanted. He came in an app with an app patch. Yeah, that's what he wanted. Sagat thing. Yeah. That's what he wanted, though. Cause that's, can, no, because for him, that's... That's normal. Feel me, fellas, talking about want us, He didn't want us to be like, oh my god, but but he phoned me when he was in the hospital. He said, yo, you bet this is long. I might cut. Where the was I told him to stay, brother? 
You, 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 I, I did, yeah. yeah. I said to you, don't, don't like, We know where to be serious. Last, like, come time, on, man. last time, you know, I chatted to him, he was in the hospital drinking liquor with the babies, bro. But I was like, what is wrong with you? And I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be crying with this thing. <laughs> <Bam. laughs> <I'm supposed> Telling you. <laughs> Life is di- it's different over no, here, no, no, man. No. You're telling me, bro, this nigga's in there sipping juice in the hospital. Juice. <laughs> 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 and I'm supposed juice. to be crying. Do you know what the matter thing is? Do you know how many women that I heard in the, read in the comments saying, this is what, this is what I'll never understand men. This is your problem. You don't understand. You don't understand us. But we're telling, we're, t- we're giving but, you the tips, though. But my thing is this, if you don't understand us, that's, that's like me going to France and someone saying, do you want to French, I never understand them. If I don't try and learn, I can't, I'm never going to hear what you're saying, bro. In uh, English, we say, not speaking English. We're not speaking they? English, bro. Okay, oh so. God. Written by Paul Sims. <laughs> I have to throw that out there. Because, Paul Sims. Nah, nah, do you know what? Because I might buck Kyle Walker one day and I told him to know there's no animosity. Like, I, I hear you, my bro. <laughs> Best England right, love best, rap. Best right back in um, British. Exactly. Team. England right back. Uh, sorry. England love rap or England right back, should I say. They love a love rap. They love a love rap. They love a love rap. Meets estranged wife, Annie Kilner, who is six months pregnant with their fourth child. Annie kicked him out of the house for fathering a second baby with his model mistress, Lauren Goodman. Yesterday, they were pictured together for the first time since the split as Annie handed over their eldest child in Cheshire. So basically, he's got a side thing. He apologized though. You see his um, story? He has to apologize. He said that uh, he messed up in this. Uh, but it's what? the second child though. The side thing's got another child. Two. And the wife's currently pregnant with their fourth or fifth. Uh, fourth. So so pregnant at the same time. Eh. My man had a football game, yeah? How much did he, work? How much did he earn a week? Kyle Walker. He's like on 350 a week or something. 300. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you, he'll be all right. <laughs> no, no, it's not even. It's not even that. I'm not getting. That's not what I'm getting. At. I'm getting at the fact that when this all hit the paper, it's been in the papers for time, isn't it? Oh, you're Newcastle, you're, you're New, Newcastle, Newcastle, ninth now because they got involved in a madness as well. There's three men in. I don't know what which three. Newcastle are ninth in the league because what? But they got a scandal as well. Three men got caught in a hotel with babes and is. Oh, what really? Yeah, yeah. And I, don't I, know about that. I think Trippier is one of them. One of them. Yeah. So, so the head's gone. Is that oh, what you make a couple of mistakes recently as well. Yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm trying oh, to say. To you, but Kyle Walker didn't make no mistakes. He still went on. Could, like, could, could he got pep? <laughs> better, better than you believe. You know what I'm saying? Better than you believe. tweeting, yo, this, this guy's mental fortitude is mad. Like how his home is in disarray, but man's still kicking wall. But that's, but that might, that what, that's. That might drive him. No, yeah, that might be saving him in terms of like, that's his outlet. But to be fair, I feel like, these are rich nigga problems, bro. Okay, so the wider question is, if, if, if you got caught cheating, do you think it would affect your podding? Yes. No. No, I'll tell you. I, 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 think no, no, no. I, I think that'll be my best podding. I'll tell you. No, no, no. I'll tell you something. I'm fighting for my life. We had, a, we, <laughs> we had a situation one time where, you know what I mean, it wasn't, it was something that wasn't even how it was. It was a live show, like early stages of free shots. You know what I mean? Girlfriend at the time messaged me. She was like, you know, who's ex so and so? I was sitting, bro, the whole show, literally. Yeah, head's hot. Head's hot. You know what I mean? We were sitting on stage, we're in, we were in sync. Them times there. So bear in mind, bear intimate in there. You know what I mean? Bear small and intimate, bro. <laughs> you know, one of those ones where I'm sweating and there's not even no, no heat in there, bro. <laughs> bro, the whole, you know, your whole night is just ruined. Yeah, do you know what I hate, though? I hate we need to talk. Ah. Just, but, just say what the fuck it is, bro, man. We need to talk. I'll let you know when I get home. So, oh, my. So you were saying, days. you know when you were talking about man had his best game and mm. whatever. So there's a basketball player who killed. So him and his girlfriend killed a girl. You know what I mean? Hit her right. body or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? And they were like... In, brother, Ve- in Las Vegas. Brother. In the desert. And then he, had, then he had a game the next day. Man had 20 points and 10 rebounds. Played and, like a normal. Brother. 20 no, points. D-League, though. D-League player. Oh. But man had 20 points. They were like, this nigga was on fire. But you see, um, that's when they knew he was a sicko. <clears throat> yeah, How you play your best game after murdering someone? Like they choked her out and left her out there. Over and think it was a misunderstanding over something petty like an iPhone or something. Was- I saw a video, yeah. Um, the guy was basically saying that when you were in school, yeah, they made it very evident who was special ed. And then everyone turned 18 and it just threw us all in the same place. In America. I think it was an American guy, yeah. Said that like, they they let you know who was special ed and who went to the special class and all that stuff, yeah. But then, because they had a special bus for them. No, I no no I know. But what I'm saying <laughs> it's is, it's crazy because you... the bus was bare little. <laughs> but know, when you get out, but when you get out, like you're just mixing with everyone. Mm. You don't know who's got something wrong with them or yeah, who's because yeah. some people, yeah, like my boy sent me a video today. Yeah, he said Taser talk about this on the pod. Yeah, it's um. But sorry, you don't t- take the cut. Yeah, in terms of the. Just to round up the Carl Walker thing, because we haven't rounded it up yet. 
as I said, I think it's rich people problems. Why do you say it's rich people problems? Because Carl Walker's got so much money, like... You Carl still cheated on your wife, though? No, I'm not saying... I'm not condoning that. But what I am saying is that the, the mistress on the other side knew his wife. Yeah. The wife knew about the first child. Yeah. Yeah, but you probably said, I'm, I'm going to change. Cool, 100%. But for me personally, that 300 bags a week, frees... But she's firm, but she'll be firm because of the kids, though. But, but I think it's a combination of the kids and also the money and the lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, he's, you know that all those kids looked after. Yeah, I know, but... So, so I feel like sometimes it might be a bit... Like, for example, if Carl Walker's just a regular dude, just a nine-to-five, that is hot. Yeah, but do you know what's mad, though? Like, sometimes I hear that... Right. The, son, the son's on him. His net worth is 27 M's. Exactly. So, so in terms of Carl Walker, I feel like in terms of like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Tyreek Hill, you know, the NFL player. Mm. He's had the third baby this year. Third BMs, three BMs. How old is he? 20s. Mm. Third baby mom this year. A man was this like... This year? This year, in one year. What do you mean? Third baby mom, third baby of the year. Third baby of the year. Third baby mom. Third baby of the year with a different person. One yeah, yeah. He's, he's just ice. Yeah, but Within you know, the 12 you know, month period. Yeah, but you know what it is with, in America, yeah? Like, in terms of, like, girls in general, there's so many girls in America, but, but as an athlete, you can even see, like, have you ever been to basketball? Oh, basketball yeah. If you see the basketball games, any girl, if you see a girl, like, on the front row, she's trying yeah, to Yeah, but also, the, the, thing, the thing that, America's very delicate, yeah, because... <clears throat> and a lot of people... And I'm not pay, saying it. Dave though. Chappelle said it, yeah. A lot of these girls don't mind that. Yeah. Because, like, for example, there's, there's girls, there's UK girls that always get onto me for, like, promoting Future. I like his music. I don't, I didn't say I like his lifestyle, but whatever. He wants to do whatever he wants to do. But they're just like, why, why would you promote a guy who's fathered so many kids? What's that got to do with his music? But also, you, the girl who's baby mom number five knew about the four yeah. and still didn't mind being five. Yeah. And then number six and number seven. So it's like, these girls know, but as long as I get a fraction of his pee, Rather than go to work, I'm cool with doing and, this. And, Some and, girls have that mentality. And in America, a lot of people have that mentality. A lot of them mentality. Because now, the, all those women with Tyreek Hill, they never, they never have to work again. Ever. It depends because, okay, you see the, the oh, I, forgot which, I forgot his name is, the one where he got the babies pregnant or whatever. Zion talking. Williams. Zion. No, 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 no. She's still chatting. Him. Brother. I'm, I'm going to find <laughs> So I'm saying about the special bus. Still chatting. No, and, but like, bro, and you know what's that, mad? She's way older than him as well, bro. Like, she was the one that was in the wrong. You're praying on him. She was. On. He dropped you out, and now you're online just crying all the time. So the difference is, it's mad. Is because... she was on ghetto gaggers, you know? I swear, what, brother? You know, one of those. One can't believe a man got her. like. Okay, wait, okay. Not to sound insensitive, yeah, but you see that thing that's been going viral, the fan bus thing. Yeah. So what's fan bus? The fan bus. You know the girls that sit on the bus and the guys that sit on the bus and they just like do like a mini interview, but really and truly they're there to get piped. Uh, by baby alien, by baby alien. Oh, disgusting! Man. Yeah, so imagine, so disgusting. if I, so if I see a girl on there, typing baby alien, and I go American, I bu- bump into her. Well, I should be excited. <laughs> Jump in, still bugging, bro. I'm not, I don't want to talk to you. I think that's disgusting. Bro, like, come on, man, but it's for views. Yeah, you've got Charles the White, Charles the White, say yo. I said we picked up the thing. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this one. I want this one. I said, brother, what's going on? That's when I knew America was a crazy place. But America's finished. Bro. But even that 20 versus one. There yeah. was the one where there's baby alien, the other the other little person, you know, the, the, the top black dude. The tiny, no. Oh. Oh, there's another one. The, black dude, um, the guy with, is it the neck guy? Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah. And he's got. And they're arguing over one sweet and they're, one. And they, they run a train sweet on Sweet one him. sitting there, like, yeah, no, both no, of them. No. They run a train on her. Yeah, they both had sex with her. No, no. Yes, bro. And, and they put it behind a paywall. People are paying to watch it. But America's different. America, you could do whatever you want. It's mad. Like, so I can't take what? things in America. Bro. But Kim, okay, I don't have a problem with Kim K, yeah? I think I have a problem with the fact that she influences so many people because some people are just stupid. I don't know how you're still looking up to... No, but you can't be mad at her for people. That's what I said. I'm not mad at Kim. That's what I said. I'm not mad at Kim K. But some of the things she's doing is foolish. Did you see her donkey kickbacks the other day? Oh, oh, when she's training. Bro, she trains like trash. No, but do you know the PT that's training her? It's like... That PT knows what she's doing. So why have you not addressed yeah, Kim K? The PT, the PT don't want There was a PT there. Yeah, yeah the PT's one training her. It's a session. <laughs> and if you see the PT, the PT's not a joke, you know? Like, she's a serious PT. Yeah, but, so the, like, the, but the thing that I feel like with a lot of PTs, some of them is genetics. So... What? Like, for example, like, if I was a PT, yeah... But you can still tell someone if they're... they're no, definitely, 100%. But then someone could look at me and be like, yeah, yeah, I, I want to do what Marvin does. Brother, I'm eating Chinese right now and Charmaine, like. <laughs> 
Don't look him. Don't watch me. You will get belly. No, but what I'm saying is the people. So some girls is genetic, but then some girls look at another girl and be like, oh my God, I want a body like you. It's genetics, bro. That is, she's worked, but like you ain't got the same body type. Even remember when Gina was in there, and Gina, Gina was like, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't, you can't train genetics. Yeah. You can work hard and get your body to a certain, but you can't grow hips. You can't grow, like there's certain things you can't. No, but Gina's recruiting hella cheeks, though. You see the squad? It just got shakes, man. Yeah. I was going the recruitment over there is wavy. I can't even lie. That's the conversation Shout I wanted just to have with you, man. Because I know your views are both going to be very different, and they'll be very excited, uh, exciting. Oh. So you know the conversation. You know Simone Biles. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. conversation. You know Simone Biles, the um, gymnast, and her man, mm. where they were having the conversation, and he was talking about he. You know, what I mean, basically, he, he, didn't, he didn't know. He didn't know who she was. And basically, and it was hilarious because people were talking about, oh, she's a multimillionaire, she's this, she's all of this. Basically, they listed all her accomplishments, yeah? And it's funny because I was listening to Joe, yeah? And Joe is hilarious because they, they tried to do the whole, you know, being proper. And Joe was like, if they went out on a night out together, I'm tired already. I know it's going to Who's getting moved to the most? A man said, if they go out, a man said, we're talking about who's the catch in it. A man said, cool. Man said she put numbers on the board. If they said, you know, if they, man said if they put their best church clothes on <laughs> and they hit the strip, who's the cat? Mm. And then girls, do you know what I didn't like about the conversation? One girl was basically hating on him, basically saying he's like, he's like the third in his position. So basically, if the, the person who's first gets injured, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. someone else, and then that person gets injured, then my man plays. But he's there. He's there. And, then she and she going, wanted the third stringer. No, but she started going into his um his um accomplishments, his accomplishments and career, stuff, saying he's nothing. And all that. But mm. my thing is this: Simone Giles herself is that her name? Biles. Biles. Sorry, Simone Biles herself said, "I moved to him." She doesn't have a problem saying that. Why are you so angry? Some of these uh, girls are saying, "Ah, oh, she's the same. Pure, it's the same. Doesn't it's know the, her worth. It's the same thing in terms of the video. Like people yeah. are just projecting, as in like, what does what does um she's happy? What's that saying? If people are taking pressing over someone else's headache. headache. It's not it's, even a headache, it's, bro. The person is cool, but she's, she's on the pod. It's not even like he's talking about her. And she's not there. She's there, grinning hella tea. They are happy in love. Even are, and you at home are vexed. But here's my thing, right? Because they were like, oh, "Is they embarrassing this woman?" So I was like, nobody would have an issue. She was like, you know what? I was out there minding my business. You know what I mean? This brother's dear me. Don't know who he is yeah. from anywhere. You know what I mean? But I was feeling him or whatever. But he was, you know what I mean? He, he, was, he was feeling me. He's moved to me. You know what I mean? I'm a catch. Nobody would have an issue with that. Also. But with him now, he said, yes. But he but, literally, but, but, and he think, played, bro. He relayed. So it's not like he made anything up. He's like, this is how it played out. And no, they, were, no. they were mad at him as well because he was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I think, I think, I think initially people were saying he was lying because they were saying, he said he didn't know who she was. But man said, I but, don't, I, was like, I, think, I don't watch gymnastics. I think tweet, tweet, tweets came out and he was like, he mentioned her name in a tweet. Yeah, that's where he fucked her then. So, so people were like, why are you lying? So I think that's where people that started the not liking came him. From. Yeah. I think there was a grab before. And now they were like, look, you're lying. Like, you knew who she was. But I, I don't know. Even so one, you... of our, one of our friends, yeah, <laughs> one of our friends, yeah, was in America, yeah, and he, he phoned me. He's like, yo, I'm going to this party. I'm going to try to do, like, obviously, he feels feeling himself. And Rihanna was supposed to be there, innit? He goes, I'm just going to try to go up to her. I don't know. I don't know who she is. I'm going to try to chat to her. She looked at him like, let's not do this. <laughs> There's, there's, see, there's certain people, yeah? There's no you can't this, fuck do, do you know what it is, yeah? When, you know what I have, man. When, when people come up to us, yeah, and they're like, where do I know you from, yeah? You that, don't. That jars me because I'm like... You know like, You know what I say? You know where you know me from. I, I say, uh, no, do no, you know what I say? I don't know. So I don't, don't really do I don't anything like that. I don't think I have one of those faces. Yeah, I just leave it there. Because I make you look stupid because allow me in it. Because don't do that. You know, if you know if you see me, you know I am in it. So you me. know who's I am. So you know what I'm saying? And if you don't, it's not a problem, but then don't do that. But the one so, thing so like, Rihanna, you can't go up to Rihanna and say, who are you or... When are you? You're cr- Rihanna. Now, G, now, you know when a man just tried to have a chat and just like, just tried to just chat. Oh, you do music? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Rihanna will give it to you. Respect She's pregnant yourself. again, you know. Uh, brother, of course it. No, what, the third one? Yeah. Yeah, ASAP is not playing around. Come on, you must have seen. Sure, he must have sent you the tweet. Because I know I sent it what to tweet? him. Where my man was like, Rihanna's pregnant again. And the man said, I need to see, I need to see ASAP's meat. Or something oh, yeah, along those lines. That. You saw it. And I was like, my brother, what is going on there? I saw another tweet of her doing the Fen, um, Fenty shoot in the underwear. And someone says, I can see, I see why she's very pregnant now. <laughs> like, brother, ASAP is not playing around, bro. No, but, I, but these men need to stop with this, this whole, like, bro, did you see that um, there's a concept in America that they keep doing, yeah? It's 20 versus one. So, like, yeah. a brother will be standing there and then or 20 girls yeah, or yeah. the other way around, girls, yeah? So there's one with Tiana Trump. 
And then the brother came up and goes, and you, basically, you come up, the, the person says yes or no. You ain't you go got back. enough bodies. No, 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 no. And then uh, you leave. And then you come up, the ones that she's agreed to, you now come up and you get to ask her a question. If you like her answer, you're like, all right, cool, let me advance to the next round. The brothers come up and asking Tiana Trump a question. So everyone's like, what's your question? He goes, how long did Kai Sinat last? Big man. You're the one that's here with the babes. You're worried about her next man. No, but you, you, do you know what is? The only problem with that, you remember he said that so that you can go viral. What? For that, but you, but you know, know how, you know how people. Are. That's what you want to go viral for. You know, yeah, but, but, but the funny thing, look, you're talking about him now. True. And yeah, people, he, and people that know him will be like, yo, blah, blah, and Kai said that. I'm gonna talk about it. He buried him. See, so but I'm saying, but, but, but look what's happened though. The no. guy that no one knew is being spoken about by Kai Sinat. And I hope they all yeah. the shit out of him, brother. He don't get what he wants. Uh, do you that, see the one with takeoff? Is it takeoff offset? Takeoff, and the, and the girl says to him, "Ah, oh, um, what country have you been to? What's your favorite country outside of America?" Man said, "Ah." Quavo, he's gone out of Japan. He's gone, no, 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 outside of America. What are you talking about? What? You got to say that, yeah, Buzz Red. red what are? Yeah. She tried to like act smart, and then when he's like, maybe probably Japan or I think it's Tokyo, and then she was going, no, like outside of this country. And he stopped and been like, oh, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Is anyone like, like Asia, you know what I mean? Outside of, you know, outside of America, like, America, like and he was like, but well, that's what? You just got to press the red button, man. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, that See Stephen A. Smith going off on my man. No, I'm sorry, but I didn't see. It. I haven't read it. Going off on who? The fat brother. The other fat brother. Oh, I forgot what his name is. Like another, there's another. They used to do a show together. There's another presenter, and basically, but he thinks he's like a Uncle Tom. He called out because he called out Stephen A. For, for bro, I've been watching. I, I know this dude. His name's just slipped my mind now. We'll, we'll pop it in the thingy, and he kind of obviously criticised Stephen A. about. So he mentioned that he, he was, you know, he went to. He was basically went to you know kind of scouts game or whatever, mm. and they, he was like he was on. He's like I was on job that day. I did shit I've never done before, and shit I've never done after. He was like I was on form that day, and boom, boom, boom. So it's all from his book. And my and the brother came out there and he said, "Gas!" He's like Stephen A's lying. Da 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 da. Ah, oh, Stephen A. Smith was cooked him. No, 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 no. You need to, bro. It's the way because if you think of how Stephen A. is, yeah, because of because he's you know prime time. You know, he kind of has to control how he speaks about certain things. He was angry. Ah, oh, bro, it is absolutely hilarious. Listen. You betrayed me. Did you tell the folks that? You bitch. <laughs> Did you tell them? You fat piece of shit. <laughs> Did you tell them that? Know, got the names. We got Jamel Hill. We got Howard Bryant. <laughs> You want me to bring up the other writers that would you betray me? Well, you know, you're, 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 you're fat bitch. But you know, to put it into context, that's like Ian Wright <laughs> on a podcast Get talking like about Mikael Richards, <laughs> like for example. Oh, Richards. Richards. But uh, you, would, you wouldn't have that here. I'd you, love that though. Yeah, but but you wouldn't. It wouldn't be like you might have a man that would say, like um, when Zaha was talking about Ravel Morrison, he was like, "We don't want passing, man. Whatever, whatever." Like he's an idiot, or like you might get that. Between players that don't like each other, but you won't get man fat came shit. out on a you fat shit. Like what? By the way, I did extra research. Let me just read this out just to get it out there. Um, what? the friendship topic we ain't wrapped up yet. So I was reading a book here, and it was talking about um, basically how your childhood, adolescent, and adult friendships manifest differently. Part of the reason for this is because of the way the brain works at those different stages in life. So your brain's still developing in your teenage age. Teenage um, years, sorry. So the way you value, understand, and connect with people changes. Socially, things that um, socially things change. So you spend more time with your peers over your parents. Mm -hmm. Reasons for this could be due to the change that your brain reward center. What age is that? Teenage. So like, let's say from like twelve to about nineteen. Mm -hmm. So the reason for this is due to the changes in your brain um, reward center, known as the ventral striatum. This activation makes hanging out with friends more enjoyable and motivates you to spend more time with them. Studies also show that this region is highly reactive in your teenage years. That's probably what explains why teenagers um, place so much emphasis with the connections with their peers. Theory of mind is also a concept that is the ability to understand thoughts, motivations, and points of views, and to realize that they may be different from your own. This ability hinges on the careful coordination of various parts of your brain, often referred to as the social brain. Babies develop it around 18 months. Um... They believe that everyone knows exactly what... Yeah, so 
basically, babies be- they develop it at 18 months. Before that, they believe that everyone knows exactly what they know. So the, anything a baby does, they act, they believe you know. Mm-hmm. That's what they cry. Yeah. So they, they can't come. Like, they, they can't, can't communicate. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They feel I'm, like I've communicated as best yeah. as I can. Like, yeah. I'm you're hungry. Not you're it. not hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, back in the day, they used to say that this was fully developed by the age of five. But scientists have now said it continues to mature and improve well into your teenage years and maybe further. Regions within the social brain shows increased connectivities during your teens compared to your childhood. And as a result of this, teenagers can better understand their friends' perspective, allowing them to deep, allowing deeper connections to flourish. Some people describe it as a metaphysical connection, two bodies, two minds, perfectly in sync. That's why you'll find that in your teenage years, you feel like your best friend is your best friend. I'm saying whoever the person may be. Your ability to connect with other people depends on coordination of actions, emotions, physiology, and thoughts. Psychologists call this interpersonal synchrony. I'm synchrony, sorry. Um, The first signs of the baby is when you mimic what your parents do. This increases as you get older and you make friends. So for example, when you're walking alongside your good friend, sometimes you might just start walking at the same pace and taking the same stride without even communicating. It's just something that just happens. This is something that they've studied. Further research in regards to what we're talking about in regards to who you should call friends, Mm -hmm. yeah? So studies show that you have to spend 40 to 60 hours with someone before they go from an acquaintance to a casual friend. Casual? Yeah. Then they get upgraded to a fully-fledged friend after you spend about 80 to 100 hours with each other. Then it gets elevated to a best friend after you spend about 200 hours of quality time. So what about the... What about the Big emphasis on quality time. What about the girls that um, swap uh, Instagrams and toilets? What, what, where's that on that list? 15 minutes. No, but what is it? What is 15 that? 15 minutes under the comments. Talk about babes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Babes. You know yeah, this mean? is studies. This is scientists read by. So, you know that guy around spending... You've spent two hours... No, I hear it. Cause with I, each other. and calling each other friends and besties. Yeah, but, yeah, but socials... Like, even in socials, you'll see that. And my bro... Yeah, but bro's quality cool. time. It's got, you, got, you, you got to decide what's quality time now. And quality time is not like... In a rave, it's not deemed as quality time. To be fair, you got to be like. It might be though. If you're in, if you're, if you're sitting with each other, Just gossiping, the people watching, dancing, all that stuff, maybe. But if there's a big group of you, you couldn't. You're, you're not connected with everyone. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. But what is a connection though? Because it depends on how you connect with people. Because sometimes, for example, you know, how guys can be like, they can be in a room with a woman. Like, in terms of men and women, our quality time is different. In terms of. A guy's quality time of a woman, yes, can be specialised in terms of, all right, I'm talking to you, having a conversation. But I feel like a lot of man's quality time with a woman is just her being in the room with them. That like, you being around me, I like you being around me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that, to that woman, that's not quality time. But they have to discuss because, that though. Because quality time to her might be like, I don't want you on your phone. I don't want you watching TV. I want you to speak to me and engage. Okay, cool, but then you see you know that. Yeah, but you see with that, yeah, yeah. What, you'd, what you'd now need to do is... You lot are working on two. You know, like in Street Fighter, where you have your health bar, she has her health bar. Yeah, your health bar is when you're just she's just around, running around with you doing errands, blah blah. But then hers might be, let me sit down and talk. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. it depends on what connection is. You need to know saying, your personal. So I'm saying that rave, for example, it could be love language. You, you having your mandem around you and like every man just enjoying themselves. That could be a way of you connecting your religion. Whereas another man might be like, nah, I want a bit more. Like us, man, maybe playing football. Like we're doing. Team board yeah, so yes, yeah, even that it's, it's, football, it's, football's another example. Connection's different. That's football's another example because when you go play Sunday football, that's them and are connecting. Or even father side. Yeah, yeah. connected. Yeah. Well, I guess people connect differently. And I'll give you an example where something that me and Anton were laughing about today. <laughs> While I was in Dubai, it's the longest time we've gone without speaking. Because I realized when I was away, me and Ant will speak at least 12 times in one day. But it's not even Is that why? But and do you know Wait, what you, you weren't or you were you were you were twelve times a day. No, no, no. And I'll tell you why. And this is hilarious. Or on the phone or messages. Phone, like literally, because you know when he's at work or whatever. Like if anything pops up, it's kind of like we'll have a conversation now. That's not yeah. a why, because Matthew can call me like twelve times. It's not a why. But it's That's literally, but it's just tiny little sometimes. conversations. No, I just walk on. But with us, two like, minutes what, here, there. But with us, what, Every just twelve times a day. But with whatever it is, we have you just multiple be, conversations. You might have no, no, and I'll tell you. No, no. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. But I'll, but I'll tell you what. There was a nigga There was a, you know, was a girl I was, you know, a girl I was seeing at the time. And, you know, I mentioned it to her at the time. And I was like, oh, literally, we just talk. You know, and that's just what we do. And she was like, oh, you know, she said the same shit. That's you lot said. And, I, and it's funny because I called up Anton, yeah. And I was like, you're a hypocrite. And he was like, why? And I was like, you do something every day that you would judge every 
other man for doing. And he was like, what's that? I was like, you call me like 10 times a day. And I was like, you would judge anybody else for doing. Yeah, this. because he gonna just for mad. This guy tried to do that to me the other day, you know? So obviously, what? you know. I call you 10 times a day. No, 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 no. We were talking about, um, what's going on here? We're talking about gossiping. He's like, I don't gossip. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We gossip all the time, but we don't <laughs> call it gossip. I don't gossip, I don't gossip. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So we're chatting to each other, yeah? What do you think we're doing? I don't gossip. But don't, like we're don't gossiping. You ever, Mom, don't, don't, Mom, don't, Mom says that guy's... It's, it's an exchange well, of information. Don't, don't you ever in the whole wide world <laughs> say that I'm gossiping. Mom said, we're talking shit about the haters, no, about the apps. No, but tell the truth. Uh, the reason why I say I don't gossip is because more times when someone says something, tell the truth, I never know who the person is. Tell the truth, anytime someone mentions the name, I'm like, who's that? I need to see a picture. I don't know oh, the so person. So does that mean you're not involved in the gossip? No, but I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a secondary bystander. <laughs> what are we doing here? I swear to you, bro. Like, you're Chinese, bro. I'm <laughs> telling you. When, brother, <laughs> when, do I normally, when, when do I come to mind and say, you know, I never guess. You know, I, I, brother, I don't. But see, we're talking about, you know what I mean, friendships and how people bond and how people hang out. And it's dope because it ties back to the strip club conversation you had at the beginning. Can I tell you? The other day, my wife, call me creepy. You know, I frequent strip clubs. I don't want, you know, that's something I like to do. And uh, and my wife said I was creepy because I go to strip clubs by myself. Is that, is that creepy? <laughs> I think that's better than going with the fellas. <laughs> that's creepy to me. Hey, y'all, let's all go to the strip club and, and get our dicks hard together as a group of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Drive home in a quiet car and not talk about any of the things we've seen or done. <laughs> oh, nigga, I, I go by myself. Do you know what's so funny about that video, yeah? <laughs> now he's baby Fred. I don't know what, what you were on when you answered that question. But they said he went to his boy's house, man, put on a porno. What? <laughs> bro, bro, get, bro, 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 recently, bro, recently, bro. Or like when he was younger. No, he just said that he, like there was a time where all the man went to link up and the man put on a porno. Like, bear man just put in a porno. <laughs> but back in the day, I hear it simply because, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you might have the one porno there. You, you hear know what I mean? it? No, 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 I'm saying this is the one porno there. Why are you all watching porno? Oh, like, together, what's the porno you're Bro, you're bro when were younger, there's one porno. What? But, uh, let, know, me, let me borrow that and watch it my own time, man. <laughs> That's the problem, bro. Who's letting it go? What? When I was young, I had the one porno, bro. And if you think you're taking this, bro, you know. Why what you mean? can't be watching it as a group, bro? That's what you what, what, what you lot did. I don't understand. So everyone, watch the video and you go do your thing later. So everyone's sitting in the in the living room with hard meat. <laughs> no, man. That is but I don't know what's bro, going on there, bro. I'm not saying it is, you know what I mean? I'm not saying this is is right, but I'm just saying. I hear it. Logistically, I don't hear it. I don't hear it, man. I don't hear it. You're by yourself, man. The bar changed you. The bar changed you. You're going to come back crazy. Before before, BB come back fast. The bar said her BB. (laughs) We were checking out at the hotel, yeah? My brother's leaving. And so we're leaving or whatever. And the man says to my brother, oh, you know what I mean? Did you enjoy yourself? The man's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man said, I know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't hear it. The bro, the way the brother says, I know. Have you ever been chopping a girl before and you're like, and she's making bare noise and you're like, ah, oh, the, the neighbors, man, or the people next door, man. This, you ever, no? Yeah, I need to move my bed from the wall, man. Because sometimes it's like, <laughs> no, yeah, I don't but, mean in your house, uh, wherever anyway, but it's kind of like, you're like, this guy just chopping outside. No, 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 not outside, but I'm just like, because I know, it sounds weird here, but like when a girl's making bare noise, it turns me on, but sometimes it turns me off. Because I'm like you're worrying about who's around. Yeah, mm. because in my mind I'm thinking because what I don't want to do is get a. But some girls hold some girls um like hold themselves back. I don't like that. Yeah, they let it all I'm out. I'm like let it all out, but then give it to them. But don't start like howling like ambulance. Out, man. There's one thing you just sound like an ambulance, bro. <laughs> what? <Bro. laughs> I swear to you, bro. It's like an she... ambulance, bro. You know when you put your. It cup... was mud. So, so that's what he's the coolest. Every, so after a while, he's be like, yo, ambulance, let's get vexed. So I don't say that. I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to make no noise next time. I'm like, ah, that's a you know joke, you, man. You know when you put a car in first, you know you're driving a car and it's it's in a gear, but you're supposed to go a gear up. And you go, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it just makes that sound. There's that continuous sound where you can, you know when you know you're supposed to change gear yeah. and it makes a certain that sound. Mm-hmm. Where is that one there? I mean, is that exact sound there? What are you going to say, Taze? You'll say something and then... I was going to say, before we wrap up, um, is there anything new that you want to share to the listeners? I was going to say, Diddy has now lost time. all ownership of Ciroc and De Leon. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I thought you did already. No, no I remember they, they, were having... Diageo, they were having a beef there. I remember I think, I think they, still they dropped him a P step. and said, cut, man. But remember, but, oh, I think it's because... I wish we recorded that. I phoned this guy and said, bro, 
Diddy is in the mud. He was like, why'd you say that? But yeah, I think bro, he knew. No, he's still in the pod. Bro, think about no, it. No, but I called you. I said, wait, but I knew way before the pod. Before, the first time I said it on the pod, was, I, I was thinking about two, three months before that because that the thing um, Goodwill was doing yeah, didn't make sense. Yeah, it made no he sense, bro. there and 50 Cent commented and said... He's not going to the... Um, oh, the Grammys? Yeah. 50 is too funny. 50 is like going to the Grammys. He said, 50 said, you ain't going to win it anyway. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because literally like... Everything... 50 is on his neck. 50 is going to do a show um, about him. And it's even, Uncle, be... even Uncle Murdered when he done the oh brother, bro, did he do it? But I'm like, brother, you murder on his neck. But we had the episode called Did He Do It or Not? No, no, but, but the thing is, we spoke about it constructively. But Uncle Murdered's got uh, a tune where he's like, no, but you got to remember, I think in America they've known. Like I told you, if you go do your research, this guy's been in in and out of court for the past 15, 20 years. But we just ain't seen things. it in the news. Yeah, but, but America's like he's that, been though. settling out of court. Yeah, I know. But what the things he's been going court for is like maybe right. going to a club and just boxing the security guard. Because he's slapping Diddy. people. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think he's pissed off someone that's like big. We've all seen reality TV shows. Mm. Sorry, we've all seen TV shows. We can speculate. You piss off the wrong person at one point, cool. everything comes crum- crumbling down. Brent, I'm going to need you to grab a mic for two minutes. Oh. Why? Let's talk to him. For the next phase, we're just segueing into something for two minutes. Why? Right. Well, is your mic always on? No, I just assume that I might chip in. Oh, okay, cool. Do you think he did it, Brent? No, Michael are Jackson. You? What yeah, are you here? Michael Jackson. You said T.D. Jakes. Oh, my God. One second. Do you think T.D. Jakes is a power boy? I'm gone. I, just go I don't know T.D. I don't know these guys. Sometimes you got to be like, I don't know he's these guys. He's a pastor. Man, like, no, no, as in like, I don't know him personally, so I don't care. Yeah. Man, like, two dicks, Jakes. Bro. You know, you know two what? what? <laughs> 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 you got him two dicks, Jakes. <laughs> The view shared by Mr. Exposed and that Mr. Exposed only. Nah, I'm like, I was Joe Budden in it, man. Man said two dicks, Jakes, bro. <laughs> no, but do you know what I do? Do you think do you... he was keeping up with them fuckeries that did his boys? In your opinion. No, do you know what I do? Sorry to cut you, but do you know what I do think? That the relationship was very weird. Because as a pastor of a massive church mm-hmm. and a man of God, you've got no business being around Diddy mm-hmm. and at his parties. So, so I did think that was a bit like, why are you there? Did they say Jesus hung out with the sinners? No, but Jesus ain't going to be at a party with Diddy, bro. Like, all like, that. And the thing is, the way he was taking pictures of him, like, he was happy. Like, it wasn't like Diddy came to the church as a member and took a picture. You're at Diddy's event. What's TJ doing there? Well, according to what they're oh, saying, he <laughs> gave the balls and drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even, I this, bro. Brother, I'm, I'm not just, the one I'm, saying I'm, these I'm things. Kind of I'm, kind of I'm not the one I'm saying kind of, these I'm things, bro. Bro, they are saying DDJ so, was in there. You know what, so what you said, bro? <laughs> I don't know the guy at all. I don't watch his segments <laughs> at all. However, <laughs> however, when I saw the clip of Tyler Perry, going on stage and putting his hands on T.D. Jakes and then T.D. Jakes started shaking. <laughs> Brent was like that. What? Brent was yes. like that. The Tyler Perry is a man of God like that? This, no! So you're, so you're getting touched by... Precisely. And you're on you're on the full so Brent stage. Is you're on the pulpit. Orgasm. And you are shaking like he's put the Holy Spirit into you. <laughs> that is phony. Absolutely phony. <laughs> yeah, because T.D. I've, I've heard of... Um... What's his name? Um, Tyler Perry speaking about God and like he believes in God and that like, he prays and whatever. But you no, know, they say but, he's a minister. But, but, but the uh, minister. who's the minister? Pay, Tyler Perry? Perry. Now that's what they say. Nah, 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 nah. If they're if, like he's an ordained man of God. To be honest, America is mad, but that <laughs> is not that for me. That was like no, no, no. You no, can't. No, t- no. Has Tyler Perry touched T.D. Jakes and he's shaking? I don't. I didn't see that clip. And then, and then you had the woman that was on stage saying, "Drop the baby, drop the baby," oh, something baby. like that. Some phrase that they were saying. And right. apparently, apparently, you know how I go down stupid rabbit holes and I believe everything once it is. I see something that I don't like. So that was something that did. Some... So did you go down the T.D. Jakes rabbit hole? Yeah, I did. So the, did you see anything in there? It was just darkness. That's what she said. The, <laughs> the, only, the, only, the only part I've got with T.D. Jakes is the way he sweats. Sometimes I look at him, I'm like, I don't know if I trust you. Hey, Marv. Yeah. Um, before we need, I'm sorry. I'm asking, I want to know if you think he did it. I don't care, man. Like, I know you don't care. Don't care about nothing. Do you think he did it? I don't know, man. But that, it's, you think uh, he's a power bottom? But the way he was. Because it's specific. Was, there the was way, specific wording. The way, um. It's a power bottom. The way, uh, there's a video, though. Please, no, no, please Google what a power bottom is. Because <laughs> it's always funnier when you read these things. Just please Google, because we want to explain to Marvin. Just go on 
Power what happened to hip hop things? Just Google what a power bottom is. Is that the bread at the bottom? <laughs> the, the plumbing? <laughs> no. no. There's, there's a bottom. That's what a bottom is. But a power bottom is specific. You know what I mean? That's why it's always funny with Taser. Have you actually Googled it before? Oh, yeah, we yes. All right. I Googled it after I heard it because I wanted right. to know All what right, that's so this, You Googled it in Dubai. Is this the right article, though? Oh, yeah. It's a men's health article. What is a power bottom? Here's the. Here's what the, the sex term really means. Written by Zachary Zayn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's throwing these people under the bus. No, no, no. I don't know what PR team Taser's been no, working no, with, no, no, but because... he's throwing the writers under the bus. No, Taser's been doing that, so that if he reads it out, you're the one clips this. <laughs> yeah, he's by Zach's brother. He's not by me. Do you know what I'm saying? Just say his name in the middle of the clip as well. They give the book. <laughs> so it says, you've probably heard the term pillow princess, aka starfishing, to describe a sexual partner who likes to lie back and receive pleasure in the bedroom and not do anything else. So, power bottom. In the queer community, these men are known as power bottom. They're the kind of sex partners who doesn't just lie there. They're controlling the tempo of the sex along with the depth of the penetration. They're telling their partner to switch positions. No way do they wait for the top to tell them what to do. Uh... They know there's a difference between being penetrated and being submissive, and that when you're on the receiving end of the intercourse, you can still be the more dominant partner. It's not the same as topping from the bottom, which I'm is a sure bad practice that. in BDSM. I'm not going to say we have a player. I'll get pum pum down. <laughs> Yo, right, wait, wait, hold on. It continues. No. Outside of the bedroom, power bottoms often pride themselves on being able to take the biggest penises imaginable. Imaginable. Okay, the first at bit any cool. moment, <laughs> At any moment's notice. <laughs> you might find them in the gym working That's on their squat the game. Right? <laughs> so they can have a big, a, the like, biggest butt as possible. I, I've never heard you read an ad this good before. You're dumb. <laughs> no, I'm like, brother. You, know you oh, read that? Written, <laughs> written, written, written by Zach Bro. Hussein. <laughs> but listen, but listen. I didn't oh, say hey, that. Hey. You got bears, you got a lot. No, 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 that was seamless. What do you mean? Wait, I need to play you this because I know you're going to find it funny, yeah? So, you know, um, the whole beef between Steve Harvey and Cat Williams, yeah? was be- Well, Cat Williams said it's because of... Um, so his kids went up to him and asked yeah, him. And this but is- basically, there was a point where Steve Harvey was the celebrity and Cat Williams was on the come up. So, um, Steve Harvey had a show in Detroit, weren't selling tickets. So they said they suggested... Oh, they clash. Yeah. yeah, so they added Cat oh, Williams. Uh, but listen to when he spoke about it on the radio. And I heard Cat buried him or something. Dressed him up. Yes. We're what Cat Williams has said about wow. Steve Harvey. Play that for us right now. We're going to play this. Harvey. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to you. You didn't have to accept this. You could have just said, no, I'm not going to do it. You have been the king of comedy as long as we've had one. Matter of fact, the whole phrase, king of comedy, can be attributed to you. That you would allow me to share the same stage as you. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know why people made this a championship bout. I don't know why you was okay with that. Mm-hmm. And I want to apologize for what's going to happen. Who is this nigga? But the second that you get on the stage, the second that you get off stage, I need you to understand that that's your final time. <laughs> Well, let me explain something to you. You can bring the nation 
You can bring Rashawn McDonald. You can bring everybody who listens to your radio show. They're going to see the truth. And his name is Cat Williams. Just to yourself, Warren. <laughs> Well, no. uh, the He's only cold. thing funny, oh, yourself wound. Wound. The only thing funnier than what he said there is that he went on the show and he cooked the shit out but of him. Have you seen it? No. He cooked, cooked him, him, bro. bro. That's why, bro. Yeah, that's why him saying all know, of that. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. That's it was why that wavy. Because you see what he said. Oh, but then he caught him. Wait, where's on YouTube? Bro, just go yeah, find, yeah, um, find it. Yeah. Search Cat Williams versus, versus Steve, Steve Harvey in full. It's a New Year's Eve um event. But I've seen the set by itself. I didn't know it was a battle. But I've seen Cat stand up. But he That's the way he talked bro. about man's wig. So him talking about man's wig now isn't the first time. But, but before him, Brent bro. goes away, so do we agree? Do we think he touched them dicks before we move on? Because there's something else. So no, nah, I don't know. I don't know either. I, I, I'm not knowledge enough on the subject. We, we, we ain't knowledge enough about that of the shit we talk about. But there's, a vid- <laughs> but there's a video. There's a video where I don't know if he's in church or is a TD. Does he have a show? TJ's got a big church, a massive church. Does he have a show though? I think he's got one of them. Yeah, he's he brought, the televangelist. He brought, this, have you seen the video with the police officers like dancing and twerking? The TDJ oh, yes, just yes, rub, yes. rubbing his and leg. Then, but it looks like he's like... grabbing his meat in his trousers, bro. <laughs> grabbing his, his no, no. own leg. Oh, yeah, his own leg, his own leg. He's got his hand in his pocket. It looks like he's rubbing his meat and he's just excited. But you know how the, the police internet, officers twerking, you bro. You know how the internet can find little clips when but, something happens. The video looks a bit dodgy still. It is a bit, mm. you know. But I know you like to, before we round up, I want to give everyone something to watch. Because I know you're going to enjoy it. And I know Brent likes a little rabbit hole. You know Army Hammer? The actor. The man from Uncle. Social Network. You know, so, did you watch the Social Network? Though? Yeah. So you know the Winklevoss twins? So the guy who plays the twins? Can you just show me the picture? Please? I'll show you. Army Hammer. Army Hammer? Yeah, that's uh, his name. I heard of the toothpaste. So Army Hammer. Arm and Hammer, blood. Oh, but, so. yeah, but that's his name. Arm and Hammer. He says Army Hammer. That's, they call him Army for short. So his granddad. Is it, is it Arm and Hammer or Army Hammer? His, his name, name is Armand Arm- Hammer. But his, you know what I mean? His granddad is Armand Hammer. So with him, his name is Armand Hammer. His granddad's as well. the toothpaste guy. No, he's a baking soda. So, yeah. okay, no, no. That's so that you're thinking of there's a difference between Armand Hammer and Arm and Hammer. Yeah. So the toothpaste is Armand Hammer. That's what he said. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. But that's your confusing. His name's Armand. So it's Armand Hammer. So oh, that's okay. what it sounds show me like. Picture. So I'll show you Armand Hammer. So he was in that movie. That's a nice little way to end it, to be fair. Army Hammer, let me show you. Uh, What's the show? Army Hammer. It's called House of Hammer, and it delves into his family, but I'll tell you, you know what I mean, oh. what it is. What's it on? Uh, I watched it on the plane. I'm not sure. You might be able to find it. You might even be able to find it on YouTube. Mm. So with him, yeah, he was doing well. You know what I mean? He was in a you know what I mean? lot of films, a lot of TV shows. Doing well. Like, he was on his come up. Like, he was definitely bound. You know, handsome dude, tall, whatever. He was bound to be one of the next biggest things. And then he had a scandal where women started... Leaking his DMs, and he was talking about wanting to dominate them, eat their ribs. You must have heard the word. Eat their ribs. So one girl, she exposed him. She was like, basically, when the, he, he wanted to have two of her ribs removed by a doctor so he could eat them, and there was just bare things where. And then he got accused so of. Is that, that even, the DMs, is that even possible? Then accused of sexual assault. But this documentary, when it ties into the family history, yeah, when it goes all the way up, because his granddad, like his great grandfather, Armand Hammer, was on the like, same thing. Very influential, like. Proper, you know, around Prince Charles and all of these people, like everyone. Then his grandfather, same thing where they were, you know, deviant. His dad, deviant, and him. So it kind of breaks it down where you, when you look at the whole story, yeah, bro, it is insane. Because even so, there was um, his auntie, she wrote a book exposing the family essentially. So she ended up getting excommunicated and she was just talking about the men, how bad the men in that family are essentially, and so on. Bro, like, when you watch that documentary, it is bloody... What's it called? In House of Hammer. House of Hammer. Because with him... What's on Netflix? I'm not sure if it's on there. I literally watched it on the plane, watched, it? I watched so it it on the plane today. Prime. I watched it on the plane when I was flying back, so I'm not sure what actual thingy. But it's genuine. It's three parts, 45 minutes each, but it's genuinely worth watching because you know when you look at something and you're like, you lot are sick. Do you know what I saw a dude do on the plane that, um, when I was coming back from Houston? You know, like, when you got the airplane, headphones are dead. I don't know if you, they've got like two ports, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you rip. But then when you put, but then some of the headphones they give you haven't got two. It's got one. So when you put it in one, it sounds better on the right ear, but not on the left, and vice versa. I saw this dude literally put his headphones in on his. Um, I don't know if it was on his phone or something. And he started the film on his phone, and he went to the same time oh. on the thingy. And then you, I could see him. I was like, "What's he doing?" I could see him through the chair, and he kind of 
Scrubbed it. So he started playing it, playing it, and his headphone, and you could see him stop. He's like, and he sat back, and then obviously he had like the big like. Big oh, so, he's, so, he's, so he's listening to it on his phone, but he's watching it on the, on screen. the screen. Genius. You know what I mean? He it, was cold, it was cold still. Study him for science. Have uh, you got anything to share? Uh, Watching words. But yeah, House of Hammer. Anyone that's listening, House of Hammer. Mine is the kin on um, BBC iPlayer. I thought you were going to talk about, I thought going to talk about Bob. my man. Who? Obviously, you can't do it today. The, the mad, the one that... Oh, Salt Ben. Yeah. Oh, I've not seen nah, that. We got I need episode. to watch that one still. Salt Ben. Uh, I heard it's cold. I want, I want to watch it. Everyone, every, when Taylor told me about it, I heard about it. And I was like, hmm. But everyone's story I've seen it on has said the same thing. This film is mad. It's mad. This the act is amazing. Like what everyone said it. I'm saying, I'm saying he, he's um alternate Joker in Batman. Yeah. And they he's basically he's alluded to the fact that they're gonna um a future Batman's gonna be based on him being a Joker. So bad. The actor. Ah. Uh-huh. I'm saying he's gonna be Which actor is it? Oh, uh, Bobby Keown. Ke- 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 I can't even say the his name. The guy was in top boy, the Irish brother. Yeah, the Irish brother. Boy. I have no idea. Oh. I reckon his role, his performance as Joker, if they ever do this it, will be better, be better than, than Heath Ledger. Ledger. I said that's a big, that's a big statement. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Taser Black is saying it. Not free shots like Marv likes to do. Taser Black is saying it. I'm gonna check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna watch the movie. The reason why I say that is because he makes you feel uncomfortable when you watch him, but you can't look away. It's that feeling. Yeah, but... So as a Joker in Batman, but I, he's going to have Batman doing some strange things, Yeah, but, bro. But, but the thing about Heath Ledger's Joker is, Heath Ledger's Joker was, like, you want it, like, you've never had a Joker where you wanted him to win. Like, I wasn't upset he won. Normally, when a baddie wins, you're vexed or you want Batman to win. I did it, but a jo- Did you watch I, the new, the new jo- Batman? Yeah, and Joker... How'd you find Riddler? Joker actually won. How'd you find Riddler? I think Riddler, Riddler's all right. The, the end bit was a bit... But Riddler was cool. That new Batman's actually a very good Batman. If I, I jump out my chair and I, attack you, you're going to say I'm mad. Bro. I didn't say it was bad. It was Keith that said it was bad. The what? Oh, it was you. Oh, it was you. The new Batman. I said it was I wavy. Didn't, I didn't <gasps> enjoy it. Yeah. The new Batman's wavy, bro. Thank you. Got, you. Bad boy Batman. Watch and it, it again, man. And the man. thing is, watch it again nah, but now. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. We already said we're going to pull him up on charges. No, we're going to pull him up on charges, bro. got a few Watching it in background noise. No, no. I watched it in the cinema. Directors doing cuts and composition. No, no, no. I watched it in the cinema. We got him on charges for Dubai already. Oh, I do. Uh, nah, man. As in, you said you was rubbish and then you stayed there for 25 days. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You're on charge. Hey, you're on charge. Hey, 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 your char- your, your she's getting longer. Your rap she's getting longer, bro. Well, the, young fuck, we're playing lifestyle in court. <laughs> what did this lyric mean? <laughs> Opinions may change with new information. No, but, 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 that, but that Batman, watch it again. Cold, I'm telling bro. you, it's cold. E- even when he's, um, when um, the policeman's chatting to him and then, like, he wakes up and they try to take his mask off and then Commissioner Gordon talks to him and he's like, we need to get out of here, man, blah, blah. Then he just punches him, bow, and he runs, closes the door, and then he just, even the way, like, he jumps off the building the first time he's used the zip. Yeah. And then, it, like, it wasn't perfect because he'd never done it before. And it wasn't sexual. And the way he just dropped, bang. You know, it wasn't sexual with um, Catwoman, if I remember correctly. He, they, they never had an intimate moment where he was awake. But they had a, they had a similar moment because I think their parents or there's, like, something. Yeah, there was bonding. There's bonding, yeah. Bonding, obviously. Trouble when he re- bonding. Yeah, it was basically I'm cold. telling you that it's, a, it's sick. Cold, man. It's cold. It's a, it's a sick Batman. But yeah, Brent, we're out. Even the music. Book him. Oh, yeah. Also, Dubai Ouds as well. Man, got some Ouds from Dubai. Check out the Instagram page. I just started it the other day. Dubai underscore Ouds. Just DM me, whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah and cool. um, if you get to this part of the pod, as I like to do, send me a signal, lightning bolt to the DMs. And also... Send him an aubergine. Send him an aubergine emoji. Send Marv the aubergine. Send Marv chow mein. Send him meat. Send Marv the chow mein. No, no, no. If you do get to the part, send me the chow mein bowl. Because there's a chow mein bowl with chopsticks in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. send me that stuff. And then let me know if you don't want season two of the Taser Black Helpline. I think I'm going to bring it back. Let me know. There's going to be one person that's going to send you a dick pic. Somebody has to pick. Yeah, someone has to send you a dick pic. I'm reporting them, bro. <laughs> send Keith a dick pic just coming from Dubai. What? That's, wait, the, wait, wait, that's, wait, the, that's the world that you just came from. That's the <laughs> dick pics and shit. You're I came from the world of everywhere you go in Dubai, bro. Someone's trying to sell you pussy. <laughs> you're like, you're like, brother. And I didn't even have the, I didn't even have an issue with the fact that they were selling it. It's the prices they were throwing out there, and I was like, yo, hey, I, you lot are pricing yourself out the game. One of my little brother. Um, what she said, five thousand dirhams. Uh, you know, you pull your phone out. I'm like, I want to check just to be sure what this is. Brother, that's a rack. You're crazy. You know the maddest thing about Keith? What's funny is that we've been going to buy, we talk about the buy. Keith's been sitting here like, 
Yeah, it's not for me, man. I don't know. Do you? I, no, no, Keith, let me land, bro. Let me land. <laughs> Keith's been like, I don't, I don't know about this whole Bear Dubai mind, Keith said he's going for four days. But uh, Keith said I'm going to Dubai for a weekend. Depends on how this you calculate it. This nigga just got back. <laughs> this morning. Bro, you went in December. <laughs> it is the 16th of January, bro. <laughs> and, he, I bet, got, and, he, and, he, and he only came back because we had to record the pod. 20, no, no, really. 20 no, 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 days. No, no. If you have to record the pod, you would have still been out there. No, but he's missed better episodes, though. I only no. missed like one, two. He hasn't missed any episode. You said that we've oh, got... Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't no, and I, and oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's the same with him. Like, I had no idea. Like, I thought we were recording from the 16th. So I was like, oh, when are you coming back? And I was like, that. And I was like, oh, shit, I thought we were back on... Mm. So that's why for me, I was... I didn't you know, even know we had an episode last. So I forgot about last week's one. I was, yeah. you know what I mean? Just vibes Because me there. and Taze came in to record that yeah. one. And I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, do you know how many people approach me in Dubai, you know how many people messaged me and they were like, you said you'd never go there. Because yeah. you remember, I've said it. I've people been remember, you'd be surprised what people remember. No, you no, know? no. I've been vocal. Like, I've been mm. very vocal. Like even, Marvin, he said he wouldn't go to strip club and spend money. Yeah. Bro, I've been mm. very... No, but to be fair, I've, I've kind of started, like, I've stood by that. What do you mean? As in like, I've not gone back since. <laughs> I, I've gotten to experience it, yeah, but like, when I went to Houston, people were like, you got to strip club now. Nah. I'm all right. This is a waste of money for me. I'm standing on business. And also, I go in there, I'm throwing money on a girl that ain't going to chat to me afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's the whole thing. Yeah, but I don't I don't need my ego stroke like that. I don't need cheeks in my face. Because you got cheeks in the hotel. Hey. Raw. Oh. Hey, you. Um, oh, shit. Sambled. Fuck, I forgot, man. <laughs> listen, 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 but yeah, I was going to say. Wait, are, you, are, we, are we doing Dubai chat now? Or? I'm getting into it, bro. Oh, Come bro. on, bro. I've been in Dubai for, what, nine weeks? <laughs> Must have some holidays. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, when I went there, like I said, you might know me. I was like, four days. And it's funny because when I went out there, Byron was like, you're going to extend. Byron and Mike were like, you're going to extend. I was like, no, I'm not. You know I mean, day one, I'm like, no, I'm not. Day two, I was like, no, I'm not. Day three, I was like, no, I'm not. You know, it's not even, you're not even confident in the no, I'm not yourself. I was like, no, I'm not. Day four, nah. You know what I mean? And on the fifth day, and I'm still there. <laughs> What's that? Day 15. <laughs> day 15, the big brother house. Bro, so you don't understand. I was supposed to come back to the UK on the 19th. Of December? Yeah. What day? Yeah, before Christmas. Yeah, it's yeah, 16th yeah. today. <laughs> 16th of January. And I landed today at 12. That's mad. But oh, but you know, Dubai, though, I told the truth, the service is crazy, bro. bro. It's, the is, way they, they remember you as well. Like if you, When you pull up in your car, they remember you. If you tip, if you make the mistake of tipping, they will never forget you. Yeah. As they I make the mistake never, of tipping. Bro, and I say to make the mistake because they will, bro. So, um, 9700. Zero, zero. That is going to eat again. Fuck on you, brand. No. So I went to Abu Dhabi and on the way. Oh, sorry, you went there. Yeah, it's like an hour drive, isn't it? Hour, hour and a half. Uh, hour, hour forty-five, depending. I was, on I was supposed to go for the um the F one. Yeah, no, with me, I went Thank stayed you, at, stayed at the Rosewood. Um, so drove there, <laughs> drove there, drove back or whatever. The and, Rosewood Hotel, yeah. Yeah, and it was banging because literally at the hurricane at the time, loved it, banging car. We're not got there. And one thing I learned about Dubai, you know when, the, Marvin, you know when you've got the car and they're like, do you want VIP? When yeah, you have yeah, certain yeah. cars, you know what you say? Yes. Say no. No, no, no. You say no, because they're still going to park it there because the car's banging. That's the one thing I learned. If your car's banging enough and you say no, because they want it at the front, they're going to leave it. When we went to the road, when we went to the Rosewood, I said, no, thank you, bro. When I woke up, when I say there's the VIP and right by the front, I said, you walk straight out the door. Yeah. The only thing you see was the car. You know what I mean? Absolutely love that. But we've driven back to... Driven back to Dubai. Cheers, I've gotten back to the hotel. And when I got there... You know you can pay them. Like, you don't you don't pay the valet. You know that? You can pay what? So, like, when you get your car valet, yeah. you say to them... Oh, I'd rather give you the bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the bread. The so they pay it so it's cheaper and they'll put it at the front. Yeah. But you just got to, you got to, you got to find the guy when you come back out. Exactly. In some certain places. And like that's why I like to pay ahead of time. They'll stamp the card, yeah, and it yeah. says it's paid. So we've got. I've gotten back to the hotel now. One brother I gave a tip. Hey, a yo, Christmas brother, run. you think you give it a tip? A tip. Right? I never said the tip. You get out of here. Oh, a right. tip. A tip. You know, it could have been one of yours. So what? <laughs> yeah. Right. Get out of here. No what? my tip. <laughs> so you know what I mean. I've gotten there. You know, got my bag out the car, bro. If you look, at the, if you saw the look on his face, yeah, Thank you. he was steaming, bro. You know what I'm mean? looking oh, at you like? How dare you touch the bag? He grabbed the bag, bro. We went up the elevator to the 47th floor and he had the bag. And it's not even an old suitcase. Tiny little bag I had on me. I want the tip. All the way to, you know what I mean? A tip. All the way to the room. Left it on the side. Brother, you know what I was like? I couldn't carry that myself. But he was like, no, 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 it's cool. 
And it was like, anytime you need me to, you know what I mean, carry anything, do anything, give me a call. To the point where, like, you know, because I befriended them, I got, you know what I mean, really good room prices and stuff like that. Little things where we had a little gathering in the room, you know, a couple people, you know, the one with the pool room or whatever. Right. Everyone's giving out tips, yeah? From what? A tip. It's not B tip. Get it right. This guy, this guy, um, I mean, um, pool, whatever yeah, you call yeah, it. Yeah. The, yeah. the one room pool. Yeah. So we. One bed pool. Yeah, yeah, because we were supposed to have a yacht party. On that day, but I'm not gonna say any names. But somebody, booked, <laughs> you remember I told you somebody booked a yacht from you know World War One, <laughs> bro. Bro, I walked in there, the comments but like build you, bro. To the point where one of the chicks that was on there yeah, said, "If you man needed the girls to chip in on the boat, you should have said." Oh, bro. crazy! That was her first red flag. I was like, I'm gonna ignore that. Bro, head was asking, bro. When I messaged about Steve, bro, I was like, the babe said, That's cheeky, "If you bro. needed the chicks to chip in." Have you seen Transformers? The old, the old. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bro. It was literally that was. <laughs> bro, that's you woke up. <laughs> bro, the one that's coughing. The yeah. always coughing. Yes, yes, yes. The old brother yeah. from the museum. That's what, that's what the boat did. <laughs> bro, that was the yacht, bro. To the point where, bro, with the babies, bro, like you know, bro, I was heated. Yeah. But cool. So we ended up just not funny. doing it because you know, I mean, his brethren was supposed to bring some of the other babes, and he stopped picking What's up. Stop my brethren, bro. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> his brethren, when my brethren told me, acquaintance. Who, when my brethren told me he was bringing the babes, I was like, cancel this. I was like, cancel this, bro, because there ain't no babes coming. So we've ended up back at the apartment for a party or whatever. We're like, let's just do it at the apartment because it's late. It's getting, and it's, you know, sometimes, because remember, it's winter. So it kind of gets nippy yeah, after yeah, a certain yeah. hour. <laughs> when that breeze hits, brad, you know On the boat in the middle of nowhere. And, and this is what it was. And I was like, hey. might as well invest in shorts. <laughs> brother, I was like, it's absolutely pointless. Hey. So there's a limit of how many people you can have in your room. Whatever. You know what I mean? And where you were staying? Yeah, the five, JVZ. Okay, okay. Where the pool room is. So there's a limit. You mean you know what, 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 what room did you have? The top, top room? The two bed. The two bed with the pool. Ah, uh, they had a party in there one time. Just bare no, people. they have, but I'm saying you, you got to know people. So that's what it was. So for me, like, bro, I kept calling and they were telling me, even get bro, in, they were telling me 200 dirhams an extra person to begin with. So I called up, you know what I mean, the people that I knew and then they patented. Then we eventually had... Cause the yeah, because there was one time there was a party there and, and they said, oh, you've got to give in your passport. Everyone was like, what do you mean give in passport? Oh, you have to do that anyway. Yeah, you have to do that. No, as a guest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we weren't feeding that, so we just left. Yeah, because Brother, the, the, every... the, the reason why, because the prostitutes... And, and if there's any... Oh, that was back then. then yeah. And if there was fuckeries, now it's the same. Like, it's still the same. No, as in, as in maybe I'd be more comfortable doing it now because like, it's the thing, but I just yeah. thought they were trying to do so, it. No, no. I, I'm, I don't get prostitutes, by the way. I'm saying because... No, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. no, no, because... Oh, you no, no, that, no, no, yeah, yeah. no, no, that's just the thing. No, no, no. There's very them out there, basically. Because I think, I think it's, the reason why you give your passport is because if something happens... They know... They know who where the person went because you know, they're not in, like, in, in Miami. You know a man that's saying... The dude I even was speaking to in the bar, he was like, yeah, man got licked in Miami, bro. I said, swear. He said, yeah, I took the girl back to the, the room or room. whatever. And then I poured a drink. She said, oh, do you want a drink? Whatever, whatever. She supposed to put something in my drink, bro. She said, like, I drank. He said, he said, it, he said it didn't make sense, though. He said, he said can I start clapping? And, like... Hmm? Yeah, what? Cheeks. Like, he was like, like, <laughs> oh, 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 he meant he was like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, what? Did you put in his drink? <laughs> no, 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 that's it. Turn into an entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he said he started, clapping, you know? said he started clapping cheeks and he said, like, he said he don't know what it is, like, but he said at one point in time, it was, yeah, it's like, up. he said maybe when his heart rate got higher or sat, I don't know, sat kicked in, he said he just blacked out, he said he woke up, watch gone, everything, everything gone. Aren't they scared? Like, maybe they'd have killed him. They don't care. Yeah, I don't know. That is. But, but imagine if she went to the um, desk and gave her passport in. She wouldn't yeah. do that. Because like, they know, they know exactly who they, it is. If that happens, I run they, to the front desk, they, they know who's done it. They you know what I'm do not, that, that's the one thing they don't cut corners on. Like, like, he, didn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't want to put his stuff in the safe before he decided clapping. Rookie. But, but, the, but the thing is, but once you think about it, though, once you start clapping... No, but before you start clapping... No, I hear that. But, like she's in your room. You don't need to shine no more. No, I hear that. But do you know what it is? But once you're in that mode, you're like... You, she can't be... Because she's Excuse me? No, I'm just saying like, no, 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 I'm saying do you just think, In your mind you're thinking More times If a girl comes to you And she's acting a little bit off no. You might think Hmm no. Whereas Because maybe she's got naked And you've started clapping But in, in my his mind, mind And in mind He's thinking Yo no. Man's woke up naked no. In America Squared Not cutting no corners bro Nah can't cut no she'll be, Their hustle's different. She'll, she'll be no. vexed with me because she'll be on the bed and I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> she'll say something cheeky as well. Wait, you don't trust me? No. <laughs> so you got to take the whole safe thing? Uh, <laughs> 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 like, mom, pull the meat out of the safe. 
But yeah, yeah. no, no. At the, like, that's the one thing about um, Dubai now. That's the one thing they don't cut corners on. Like, any hotel you go to, like, there's no two ways about it. Yeah. If you're with someone, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, whatever, your friends, everyone has to check in. Everyone has mm-hmm. to take that passport to the desk. You sign in. And you can book APs out there anyway. Yeah, we got, we got an AP when we were out there last. An apartment? Yeah, apartment, yeah. It's, yeah. it's easier. So apartments, yeah. it's easier. There's no stress. Yeah. It's so cheaper literally. as well. Yeah. And, they, and the thing is, they look nice. The thing, the thing is, sometimes, you know when you think of Airbnb or whatever in London, you might get a good one or a bad one. In Dubai, there's not many, like, their bad is still good for here. Yeah. It's so just, and it also get... depends on the area. So yeah. I feel like... Marina. Is where we were. Marina, same here. So look, Everyone stays in Marina. So for me, when I started, it was hotels, 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 but I eventually ended up in Marina. You had to. You were, brother, you'd be in a fight for 20 days. You know what I'm saying? Three balls a night. No, no, no. no. But that, that's not how much it was for me. I told you, bro, I got preferential prices because of the people that I met. There. Oh, okay. So okay, that's okay. why, like, bro, to the point where when I was, bro, at some point I was paying like 90 pounds a night. I swear. Yeah. Yeah, you, like, saying, bro, you, like, you think I would have stayed there that long if it was them kind of money? You got stayed at Paramount. Yeah, nah. I, stayed, I stayed there once. Paramount's I, banging, I, bro. <laughs> it's far, though. I've oh. been there, I've been there. Okay. Free bills at night. Every, Paramount's every cold, though. Cold. Hmm? Yeah, it's cold, I'm saying, but it's, and, but it's and, a bit far. And the mirror is um, TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, like the mirror in front of you, just press it and it turns on the TV. It's sick. No, that's weird. No, like, Paramount's not far from everything. It's not too far. It's literally um, not far from downtown. It's, it's, what's it? SLS. It's a crossover for SLS, isn't it? It depends where you're going, though. If you're someone that's going to like... SLS is nice. If you're it, going to like the Palm all the time, it's, it's busy. Yeah, yeah. Distance, if, you're, if, yeah. You, if you're at the Palms, it's a mad team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the thing is, the Palm have their own crowd anyway. Yeah. Because, yeah. If you're floating... So, so, so you're kind of... Yeah, it just depends what you're on. Because when I drive, I'm like... But it's like, like, like 15, like 20 maybe. minutes. It's like 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, nothing... Like, we stayed at sports. When we when me and Matthew went for like three, four weeks. Was it three, four weeks? About that long. We stayed at Sports City. And it makes it sense because when you're out there, you're, area. Yeah, you're yeah. close enough because the life. prices are yeah. much cheaper, cheaper and you're literally on the outskirts. And the thing is with, with Dubai, you, you know, everything is 20, 25 minutes away. Yeah, 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 but literally yeah. like you're literally. cool because yeah. you're like, if it's going to cost you 30% less, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you're in the ne- thick Next of time it, I go to Dubai, I'm not even staying at the five. I'm going to get a, um, a no, And with me, remember, and the only reason I ended up staying at the five anyway is because... Um, you know what I mean? My friend and the missus, they do a lot of work for the owner of the five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I ended up there. So they were like, I remember when we spoke, when yeah, I was leaving, yeah. and you know, like, oh, why'd you pick the five? And I was like, because they're staying there, essentially. And I always also say with Dubai, it's such a different experience when you know people there that know where everything is. Because even then, like, I bumped into so many people that had been there for a couple of days. And then you listen to their itinerary, then you look at your itinerary and you're like, you are literally freestyling. Mm. Like for them, we're like, oh, we've been to this, we've been to this, and it wasn't fun. Because even with all of the events that they have, you can go to all of the same events as everyone else, but you go on the wrong day. Yeah. It's like when you go to Miss Lily's or you go to Ting Iri, when you go to all of those places, it's whatever day you go on. Because they were like, yeah, it was dead. And I was like, because you went on the wrong day. But I would have never known that if I had known, you know what I mean, promoters and all of these other people that will tell you, this is the yeah. day you go. Or this is this, or this is this, or this is where it's like Lecky as well. It goes, oh, Lecky's dead, and everyone's like, you go Lecky Fridays. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the day you go. So it's little things is like it a that. Sweatbox on Fridays. It is like yeah. it's Ram, proper Ram Fridays. Fridays are R and B day as well. Fridays at the R and B hip hop day. Yeah. Saturdays at the Nigerian Amapiano Piano day. Even when I, when I was there, Jay Huss was like in our section, bro. He, where you chain smoking? Yeah. So what I, was that then? What? The Jay Huss situation. In Lecky. No, that was no. in Lecky. That was in Blue. Blue. Oh, Blue. Yeah. Like, obviously had the situation with... Ross. Name? Someone threw water at him. Yeah, yeah so then water. they were just kind of having the little... But I had left by that time when they were in Blue. You know what I mean? Oh. So for me, I like, bumped into them at um, Lecky. Bro, them... Lecky. Yeah. Chain, bro. Jay, where you chain smoking, bro? When I walked out of there, I smelled like a chimney. That's the only thing I don't like about Dubai. Yeah, that you, you can smoke oh, yes, 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 yes. I really that's don't like jarring. it. Bro, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, but the only but thing, air conditioning in Lecky is non-existent. But the only thing is, but most people... Like, well, the guy's um, Nigerian, bro. He ain't trying to do that. Most people um, smoke shish. I mean, um, vapes over there, though. That's the only difference. It's like, yeah, a few people smoke. Nah, bro. But most bro, people are doing... cigarettes in there. No, no, but most people are vaping, though. Like, most, girl, most girls are vaping. Most guys are vaping. It's only certain man Can you that buy actually smoke. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Vape yeah. vapes everywhere, bro. bro. Like, I remember the last episode we had, we were talking about um, the vape with the extra... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's I'm the extra. No, yeah. with this one, bro. Oh, no, that's from the shops. You can just no, buy even, even in some of the clubs now, you have people that walk around run, selling yeah. them. Mm. Cigars, bro. Like when I was a blue, blue, bro. Literally, no. See, I was smoking hell of cigars. It, the people just pop out of nowhere. 
Would you like to buy a vape? Would you like to buy a cigar? I remember that's Would the one like thing to... I didn't like about Dubai. It's, it's the smoke. Like, like, but your clothes boot. I mean, as soon as you get back to your hotel... It's the same thing me and Matthew were complaining stinks, about where we're bro. in there. And you know people like... And you're standing there and they're just blowing smoke. Like, it's so mad, yeah? Like, I don't remember... The time when... The clubs, it was cool here. Mm. It was worse here, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. Because remember, when, when it was here, there wasn't, it wasn't vaping. It was, was unadulterated un- un- vents in the hedges. Yeah. Bro! <laughs> and the rave, remember, the rave used to be smoky, and you didn't know if it, was a, off, whether it was a smoke machine or the cigarettes. But you used to get... The thing is, you used to get home, yeah? And you wouldn't smell it in the rave, but then in your room... You'd bro, be like, bro, then you look at, then your. It's like, like when you wake up in the morning and you smell your clothes, bro, you're like, where was I? Bro, you couldn't wear your clothes twice yeah. that day. Nope. The moment that those jeans and the t-shirt left the rave, had to go. be in the washing machine, bro. Yep, you cannot wear straight them again. unfiltered tie. You know, that's why I was really like <laughs> about Dubai, like the ease of getting my laundry done and stuff like that, brother. So, no, you, know, you open Kareem, bro. That Kareem, bro, slap that laundry. They'll be there, pick it up today. They'll bring bro, it back. Tomorrow. Everything, Deliveroo or what's it called again? Kareem. No, there's another one, the food one. Kareem. Oh, is it Kareem? Yeah, yeah. Kareem's at Uber Eats. It's like, but it's all it's all in green, one. All it's in, green okay, is cool. like yeah, yeah. But then that, I was ordering PF Chang like it was fucking Nando's. Yeah. But that 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 um, Dubai more. Yeah. That Kareem um, app, everything's on there, bro. It, like, you know, laundry, like Uber here is just like whatever. It's there a super is app. laundry, groceries, um, skydiving. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you can pharmacy. Look at anything, bro. But I'm telling you, anything on there, bro. It's different over there. Still can't lie. And one thing I like about the, and room service is 24 hours a day. Yep. You know, like here in the UK, if you like, after maybe three, everyone's gone home. They can't. You ain't getting room service. There, what's 11 your, 11 p.m. Ring them. What's your, I need um, new towels, whatever. Your best moment in Dubai. Yeah. Like, what was your like favorite moment that you like? Oh, that was so <laughs> sick. <laughs> Obviously, minus the cheeks, man. Like I know everyone's gonna say cheeks, Nobody but minus was that. Nobody thinking about that. So what was you thinking about this? I don't know. It wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what minus I think for me? Minus that, minus that. Because I would say mine was that, but minus hey, that for me, bro. that is hilarious. The valet for me is the, I, think, I don't know if I could call that a moment, but you know what I got there, Marvin? Valet, I discovered valet. Because over here in London, yeah, sometimes you don't even want to drive to places, bro, because like, oh, it's going to take me 20 but minutes. The valet here is meaty, bro. Because you're thinking, Don't scratch your car, bro. What? Have you yeah. seen the valet in Westfield? It's not started. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. The valet, you want, I don't even touch my car. <laughs> Don't touch my car. But over here, bro, it's wavy because you're thinking to yourself. Over here, like, over there. In Dubai. Oh, yeah. Because you're thinking, that's, for me, that was my best experience because it's like, there's nothing I hate more than finding parking. You're driving around, you know, just bro, doing laps. Bro, you're thinking, cold. I can't wait for some comfort smudge. But you, 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 you just pull up and then the keys in the car, yeah, the keys. <laughs> and, yes, you know, yes, yes, and they yes, ask yes. VIP. And sometimes I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. The only place, I can say the one place that I made sure I paid for VIP parking. Cove. Nope. Lecky. Because when it's time to go home, Oh, no. and, they, and they had to go pick up your car from fuck oh, knows where they put me, it. I know that there's a back bit. Like, when you go around the back, there's like a little mini roundabout. I park on the curb there, oh, man. I see, there you go, because you ramp. knew the thing. Now, oh, no, for me, that I club, live... when they bring your car, you be waiting for half an hour, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Too much traffic. What? It's because there's it, a one-way... Basically, the car one park way... is like in downstairs, but it's one way in, one way out. So when they're all getting everyone's cars, they got to come all the way up. They go ramp. round, yeah. Then, then they got to come all the way around and bring your car to the front of the club. And there's like a one alleyway where all the cars, and you know how mad them are. Just park up and if, just chill. if I'm just driving and talking to a babe. And beep, certain men are not, no, no, certain men are not moving. Yeah, but, like I'm, moving, but I'm in my G-Wag, what do you mean? Yeah, exactly. But then talking, talking to, to the babes. The babes didn't even go in the car yet. Relax, man. Like, even the last time I was there, yeah, see these men were fighting literally outside. You know what I mean? Literally. And you're like, bro, how the hell? I can't lie to you. I really don't understand that, bro. Yeah. Like, but outside Lecky, bro, it's, like, it's man, dr- man are going at it. When man drink and when man do things, it's just... Do you know what's interesting? Like, it's always changing the subject, but someone was saying this to me the other day, yeah? And someone was like, um, I think it's about Lecky when I was in Dubai last. And then one girl I was talking to, I mentioned her name. She was like, you want to catch me dead in Lecky? I said, why? Two girls. Okay, yeah, two girls. Too many black people. And I, just, and I just sat there. I looked at her. And I was finding it interesting. I'm like... I've heard this many times before. Even in the UK, people say, I'm not coming to that rave, it's too black. Mm. But it's like, I get the sentiment, but is that positive or negative? Because when you get white people saying, I don't go Magaloo, there's too many not, white people. We're not thinking of no, that. There are black people. There's no, people no, 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 no. But what do they say? It's like, it's too chavvy or it's too... But, they, but you wouldn't hear someone or white. I don't know. Maybe but I'm that's not in that circle. But that's the only description that we have for but, you to understand what she means. But what, that's not, I don't because know. Because when she said girl, you knew exactly what she meant. I, I did and I didn't because I don't mind those environments because I, ghetto to me just means you grew that there, the music is more to my liking. I'm going to hear stuff the that music. I like. 
Now, do you not talk yeah. about the music, though? No, no, but, but it's, it encompasses all of that. Like, for example, if something's oh. ghetto, it could be like, you're going to hear UK music, you're going to hear drill, you're going to hear, do you know what I'm saying? I just think it's the behaviour. Like, there's certain people, you know, if someone says to me, you're a taste, there's a, there's a dance you're going to, it's a bit ghetto, though. I know exactly what they mean. But that's different, though, I feel like. If you say, like, it's ghetto because of that, but then if you say it's, there's too many black people, no, but you know what she means. I don't, but she, I don't, she, she, she didn't. She didn't explain herself. Do you know what it's like? It's like the um, um, Madame Joyce's video where she was talking about broke boys. Yeah. That's not what she meant. Well, well, I can't speak for her, but the, the, what I thought she meant was tight. Because when my man bought Jada Wada Chanel bag, internet went mad, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? <laughs> London man buying the American but, but, but you know what? Like but you know what? Annoying, annoying me about that is like one man bought a bag that doesn't represent London man. It's just a man from London bought her a bag. It doesn't mean man from London buy girl stuff. It's just one dude bought a bag. You ain't her, and I ain't him. Can we remove ourselves this conversation? Listen, I am not him. Do you know what I'm saying? The way people are like, yeah, but you can see, you can man ain't tight. Brother, one brother bought a bag. Also, uh, uh, and also, there's bare, man, there's bare babes in. Um, do you rate that? Though? Nope. We don't even know if, he, if, he, if he, a man really bought it. We don't know if it's just for clout. If it's just, we don't know what happened. Well, you say cameras and say, yeah, 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 run that, run that. <laughs> <laughs> give him a bag, give him a fucking bag, give him a fucking bag. Jada better post that bag, you know. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Dubai is so transactional. In terms of? Everything. Very transactional. Remember, Dubai is one of those things where everything is based on what you can give the other person. Money, money, money. Like, even with service, we get great service because of how we pay. The minute you can't pay, bro, our service disappears. Yeah, but you say that, but I feel like in Dubai, on the level, is the service is good. As in, like, in America, for example, it's tip. Oh, so, forced, so, the yeah. thing, so in America, for example, you get paid like two dollars an hour. But at the moment you leave your yard in America, like if I'm saying oh, I'm going to go out with a babes, for example, put two fifty aside for tips. Im- immediately. No, no, just for your night, because you're going to get to the venue. There'll there'll be a park. Well, cinema's two fifty. Huh? Cinema's two fifty. <laughs> Private joke, man. Private joke. Taylor was bust up in the group. In the life of a city. That day was killing me, bro. That's like, why is my boosted man like this? I don't understand. Like, oh, that day was too funny. But um, for example, you know that if you've got, I'm trying to think of somewhere, like you might have a club in Tottenham. You know, like um, what's the where did Skip the Lead Rave the other day? Drumshed. Drumshed. Imagine Drumshed, yeah, but the Tesco car park. They charge you to park in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you do in America. Yeah, so, I know. So, so anywhere that's yeah, yeah, so anywhere around the club that's got parking, there'll be a brother who's standing there. They might be up to a hundred dollars, bro. Know? And it's like they'll say twenty dollars, but you're quite at the Quay. back. Or forty dollars, you're you kind of your middle. Yourself. Park it yourself. No, no, you don't park it. They park oh, it. Oh. The, the, if you, the twenty dollar one, park it yourself, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. If he's standing there, then he might park it for you. But we didn't. Is he gonna bring your motor back? No, I feel like if we had it over here, they no, might, they'll be just driving your car into a lorry. Now you're paying for the space, bro. <laughs> like, the space, you're just yeah. paying for the space. And then if you want to get closer to the club, it's it me. increases. One guy ever said to me, yo, you got a hat? They might charge you $20 to wear it inside. Said, what's this guy? <laughs> bro, but before I've even gone in, I've spent 150 Brother, it's mad. That's what I'm saying. Before, before you've gone into America, you, you spent yeah. a minimum of a... Uh, hey, yo. You spent a minimum <laughs> of 20 Whoa. <laughs> Drink, man. Yeah. Yes. You even... <laughs> you spent a minimum of 2040 just alone. Then think about your tip. Your tip is maybe ten percent of whatever your bill is. So if Jesus. you if you spend a hundred, it might be like ten, fifteen dollars. So already that's forty dollars. I've, I've seen them now saying they want twenty percent. But to be, but but before I'm not gonna lie to you, their the service there is because they're fighting for their lives. The service is good. That so you see, so and also you kind of feel sorry for them because you're like you give me good service. You want two dollars an hour. Let me give you some money. Like, but so I just, just... think it's, it's the culture there. So because we're because we're f- um, like essentially tourists, we look at it like mm, I've seen, bro, I've seen no, no, here, a lot we... of Americans are fighting back now. No, but we no, remember, but we pay, mean, we pay way. here. Like it's people, included. People getting mm. twelve, fifteen pounds an hour. So I'm looking at you thinking, oh, what am I tipping you for? You a tip, oh, do you not offer tip? Do you not pay tips here? So if, if it's exceptional service, yes. If it's what's not, exceptional service, bro? Like, Man, come to the table. Say, is your, is your food alright? Nah, nah, I've been to places where like there's waiters I really like. So there's places what? where he's feeding you the meat or something. Hey, hey yo, hey, 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 blood. Hey, that's hey. your manager, you know. Yo, I, tell, I couldn't believe it, man. So I tell, getting my it's the experience, meat, though. Meat, no, man. <laughs> it's embarrassing bear awful player. Saka is disgusted over there. Eddie and Ketty, that man can't look about the training again. Is any you don't so, dominate the Gabriel and Saliba looking about like what? all your players were in Dubai the other day actually. Yeah, Saliba, yeah. Saliba can't chat, bro. Yeah, they, I know. They took um 
And they were their families as well. They had like a, a winter break. You gotta think about it though. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go to another topic. Ain't we, to- ain't we toxic though, Tate? What the black Wait. community? Oh, because you wanna let man feed us meat. No, but I'm no, sorry, no, no, bro. No, like it's not even no, toxic. No, bro. I just feel like no, but now. yeah, no, but I think about it though. As in, like, I mean, you, the, you, do you know what the experience is? When him you say cutting we, the meat. No, when you say we, what do you mean, men or women? Black men. People. No, it's black people. That's what I'm saying. Your girl, your girl will sit next to you and you watch it. Another man feed you meat. She's looking at you, bruv. She's dry, bro. And I'm okay Crazy. with I'm okay with being no, I'm saying, so I'm saying black people I'm saying is, is it something it's not that... toxic? It's just well, we have a standard. Like, it's like the brother that was getting the, the, the juice shot in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> <For> t- <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the girl was looking at but him. But the girl in the background was disgusting. But you know what? He was the thing is he was smiling and uh, but at the end he's he, fizzing up in his mouth. At the end he was like. <laughs> and the woman in the background is like, it's, bro, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, um, a man or woman thing. It's just black people, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. You have a standard, and yeah, it's but, just like, yeah, but I'm saying in terms of that standard that black people have, as in obviously I'm adhering to that standard. You ain't give, giving me me. It don't embarrass me. But like, for example, white people or other nationalities or races, they're more carefree with. They're like, is yeah, it, but bro, their I, team's I, different, bro. Like if we if we if we all played football for example and it's time to go to showers, we're gonna go into different corners. Yeah. Whereas they'll they'll stand next to each other, them and start have, chatting. Them and have full convo Damn, naked. Like. like, and for me, it's not, it's not even like um, it's, it's a bad thing. It's just I don't dick out and everything. Do you know when it took? Do you know how long it took me to shower naked with the man them in terms of like in football? I couldn't do it. Now, I when I, I, when I, I was younger, I'm glad you finished that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy stuff. Yeah. It, was, it, was it was honeycomb crazy that one still. No, no, because you know what it is? When I, used to, when I was like in school, as soon as the game finished, clothes on, see you later. Man are showering, the white brothers are showering early. No, no slippers, you know. No, bro, no, for real. <laughs> I had that conversation bro, today. You know, if I, if I ain't got slippers, I'm not showering. Yeah, obviously. Or you know the blue, the blue plastic <laughs> thing you put on your foot that, that balloons up with water anyway. Joke thing. I also <laughs> realized it's not Bonjela that you put on Barugas. Bonjela is um Ulsa. Yes. Ulsa. You know what I mean? I was like, oh Bonjela on the Barugas. They were like, it's not Bonjela. Well, what's, what's, what's it called? Bazooka. That bazooka, that's yeah, Baruga. Baruga. I was like, oh yeah. But... I've, had, I've had one Veruca in my whole life. <laughs> I said never again. It's just like a hard piece of skin on the bottom of your foot. Like it's like a little circle that's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what I've done. I think I, there was one time when I was like... You bare back the floor? Yeah. I said, oh, do you know what? Fuck it. Let me just but quickly you, do So it. You're not just, now you're comfy just skinning out and showering with the mandal? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. Because no, no, no. he said I never used to be comfortable. No. That's what I'm saying. Are you comfortable? Uh, put, put it this way. I can, I can, <laughs> after a football game, I can shower now. I don't care. But at the same time, I'm still... If you're shower one, I'm shower 18. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm not shower two or three. Like, I'm shower 18, So you're not bro. that comfortable within and, yourself, And then. also, I will most probably get in there first. Or last. Or one of the last. I'm not getting there in peak peak time. Spe- there, man, I'm, not, there, I'm not doing school run in the um, of that, shower. That actually ties into a great topic. Is another thing I discovered in, in Dubai. What's that? So, you know, the first and last thing. So there's a rule that my Bridget told me. He's like, when you go to Dubai, yeah, and there's a table. Don't ever be the first person on the table. And don't ever be the last person yeah, on the yeah, table. True, true. It's the fact. So if you're the first person on the table in certain situations, they take your ID. No, but like, no, last person can be calm though because nah. you can get to no because the times when I get to the club late and I and I can see that I'm like no 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 last yeah, person I'm to chip, leave. I'm chipping on this table. No 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 last or, person to leave. You but I'm gonna take a walk. What if they haven't come? No to no no. Yet, it means the, the last person. No, yeah, but if, if ever, the thing is, if, if put it this way, if 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 when if we're in the bar and then we know about a table. If you message me, I'm getting there at a good time because I know I'm chipping in. If I if I haven't spoken to you about chipping on the table, not chipping in. and you man tell me where at blue or where here, I'll be like, All right, cool, I'll pass through, but I didn't start chipping in. So if I get there and if the table's popping and I'm gonna drink, I say, All right, then cool, let, let me put a little something in. If not, nope. I'm all right, still. He'll tell you, like, I was telling him, like, when I was out there, where at first it's like cool on the table, chipping on the table. After a while, when you figure out the game, tell him, I'll stand by the table, I'll go bar. Buy my drink and I'll come back. I will not touch nothing on the table because they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? Literally, like if I'm there, I will not sit down. I will stand. You know, with with the table and like I said, especially with Surf Marvin, where am I sitting down for? Yeah, Surf. You know, stand up or whatever. Mm. Go to the bar, get myself a drink, come back. Go to the bar, come back. But I was saying you can't be the last person to leave because certain people like they're all duck out. If you're the last person on the table, that's who they're grabbing. Yeah, and you have to answer. And they, oh, and they bumped me mm-hmm. over there as well because when I was some of the brothers I was in London stuff. wanted to pay cut cash in it pounds the exchange rate in the club was new I said don't be silly the table was like um 
two times the price because they, their conversion rate in the club was like not the conversion rate online. So they're converting like them Nigerian weddings Brother. when they're doing the pounds. Yes, you know, you know, we're just doing the, the dollars. But, you know, but, a dollar but, for a pound. <laughs> but the thing is, because you need it, you're going to do it. And yeah. So yeah, that's the one thing, you know what I mean? I was told, you know, that was the, that was, that's actually the second tip I got. The first tip I got is you stay away from them Lexus cabs. I, I never got in a cab. See them Lexus cab. You never got in a cab there? No. no is it Dusty or something? No. Actually, you know, I'm lying. I've got a cab from the airport to... But which one was it? After that, the, the airport one. The Hala ones. I don't know. What, Hala, Hala? Hala, you know. Oh, is it Hala? I was going to say what? No, what, no Hala pork, taxi. No pork in the boot. the writing on them. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, because the, the Lexus is now. You go over there. So them brothers there, they don't tell you your price until you get to where you're going. So with the other ones, you know. No, I wouldn't get the in there, though. Or oh, the ones with the meter. But there's the ones with the meter. This is the one with the meter. Those will come meter. Meter, not meat. You know what I mean? So meter, those ones, you know exactly how much you're paying. Mm. The Lexus ones, yeah, you get there sometimes and you're like, how much is it? And I'll say, how much you want to give me? One night, yeah, I will never forget this. We were drunk. Who was I with? It was me. It's the night where I was with two friends. And it's the night I told you where I ended up in an argument with the brother where the girls didn't want the man. <laughs> and he was trying to, you know, he's trying to argue with me. All night, and I'm telling him, bro, all that's gonna happen is we're gonna have a fight, and we're both going to jail. So what are we doing here? Yes. You know what I mean? I told man, we're going to jail. Mm -hmm. I was like, we're going to jail, my G. You know what I mean? That's all that's gonna happen is we're gonna go to jail. But yeah, I've gotten back. So what happened is we went from ah, <sighs> where were we? One Oak. Went from One Oak to you know the Radisson Marvin by the pump. You know where you park? Yeah, if that's, you're going that's, to that's, that's the new. Yeah, so that's where new. you park when you're going to surf? You know that you know that whole you know that whole strip where the five used to be the big five. Mm. There's literally replica hotels right next door. Marriott, the whole Hilton, right next door. So all the way so down. that whole strip. But the only problem is there's bare traffic now. Yeah, nah, it's, it's a one way. System. No, no, it's a one way system. Yeah. Horrible. So back in the day, you remember there used to be no traffic before. You just go zoom. Now, like it's long. And also, for example, Pat does with Jason the um, out of office Fridays. And uh, so when you go to the bottom, it's there. So basically, you know that when you come out of, um, you know, you the five year, the big five, when you walk to the bottom, then you go through Pagoda and then it's like, you're out on like this long road that leads to wherever. That road now leads to all the different hotels. So like that road now surfs at the bottom and it's it kind of got like a tube map on the side and it shows you like all different hotels and what is there. That weren't there before. How are they going to um, fix that? I don't know. Because you can't build new roads. Infrastructure. That one I, I don't system. think they can. I don't think they can because the, if, if they close that bit, because there's no other way you can get to the five yeah, apart yeah. from that one way system. And do you know what the, the worst thing is? You know, if you've driven to the five, let's say you were chilling at the five all day, and then you want to drive to surf and you want to park. You got to go all the way around, bro. Right there. And you're like... That's what I'm saying. They got to fix, they got to fix this grid-like system. That they no, but it's, it's only there. It's not, it's not over, there's no other part of the bar like that. Because I think, remember, that the five was one of the first things in that area. So it didn't and matter it was how it booming. was. Booming! What? Yeah. It was yeah. booming still. I can't even lie. Do you, uh, you reckon they'll go out? Beach-wise? Apparently they build another five in a, another bit. By, uh, it's by um, Marina. Like, yeah. not too far. You know where... From the, and, no, and, 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 and the, right next door to Rixos. And that five will be mad because the Marina... No, 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 everyone, no, no. Everyone goes for yacht parties and whatever. So, technically speaking, now, like, your hotel, you can come out and then... Just go to so, yacht this, this one is, is the there, Supreme. Bro. So, this one, they want to be the Supreme yeah. five. Like, they also opened in a uh, five in Ibiza. How oh, was it? Yeah. Um, you know, a Pasha. They bought Pasha. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They bought Pasha. Because that's what they're building. Yeah. They bought Pasha still. The five, essentially. But that one-way system. Did we go past Pasha when we went to Ibiza? Murky Fest? No. Nah. Pasha. They were, selling, they, they were selling Pasha, like, Tickets, merchandise yeah, yeah. in there. But Pasha is in playing in the Bossa. We didn't go playing in the Bossa. We, that was in, um, we were in, um, no, we stayed, we, we were staying somewhere and then the rave was somewhere else. Yeah, but we were staying in playing in Bossa. I mean, we were staying in... Um, San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio. But playing in Bossa, in... San Antonio is the cheaper part. Player the Bossa is where all the super clubs are. Oh, okay. And that's where like um, Oshwire <clears throat> is um, and all them thing there. 